Ready to hop in with some more grounded gameplay. I am absolutely addicted to this game and we are having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we have got this brand new weapon, which is absolutely ridiculous the damage it does. Uh, we've just been rocking with it. So this is the weapon right here. When it triggers, you see that lightning damage that goes off? And how much of this fucking that damage we're doing? Absolutely insane. Just ridiculous. I absolutely do have to eat something because I've been poisoned way too many times here. But you can see the damage when that lightning triggers and the huge stun it does. Just insane. Like, we just rocked up on a wolf spider. No warm-up, no nothing, no prep, and just went up and bashed them down. That was head-to-head -head against the wolf spider. Like... That's pretty dang ridiculous. So we got this weapon on yesterday's segment of the stream and we've already upgraded it a good few times and this thing is insane. Uh, so what's even the name of this yoke? This is called the Pinch Whacker. It is a tier three melee weapon that you don't craft. You actually just find this weapon and it's really easy to get. I think you can get this weapon pretty much the second you get your first super chip maybe i think it's once you get your first super chip you can go and basically get this bad boy all you need is a bomb a single bomb that is it and then once you get that single bomb you make your way over to the wall and about right here in the wall there's a little hole you just build your way up place the bomb and it's just sitting in a trash can and you get this bad boy so it is pretty damn ridiculous here's the stats of it we've already upgraded it a couple of times so it's just like two and a half we've upgraded it's over three damage right now reasonable stun reasonable attack speed the melee damage on it is pretty decent you know there's other weapons do more damage other weapons do less damage but the main thing is this short circuit so basically every time you hit with this thing it has a chance of triggering short circuit which is that electrical damage you see that electrical damage hits everything close by you so if you're fighting multiple enemies that will literally hit multiple enemies around you uh, it also kind of stuns them for a split second so if you hit an enemy and it triggers the lightning that will actually interrupt them if they're about to attack you so if i was fighting the wolf spider there for example and i seen that the lightning triggered i know that i can hit him a few more times because he's not going to be able to uh, to attack me yet he's going to be basically stunned for a millisecond in there and that can trigger and trigger and trigger and it does a lot of damage and it will even trigger on a perfect parry sometimes as well it's just random when it does but it's pretty damn cool uh, and when that lightning damage hits it hits hard it interrupts the enemy and if you get a couple of them in a row it will basically just fully stun the enemy and let's just fully combo them then this weapon is absolutely ridiculous it is definitely the strongest weapon we've rolled up on so far we've upgraded it to the max that we currently can we're gonna be upgrading that a little bit higher today once we get a few more things unlocked but uh i am vibing with this weapon the damage it does is stupid strong absolutely stupid strong so we're gonna see how much damage we can actually push out of this bad boy because again this isn't a crafted weapon so if i want to repair this you need to get repair glue which we got yesterday um, and then if you want to upgrade it you just upgrade it normally it's been pretty good like that so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be going ahead and trying to upgrade this higher right now the tier 5 upgrade is the highest we can currently do not because i'm missing the materials i have the materials but just because if we want to go ahead and upgrade any more we need to get a um we need to get a uh, not a furnace an oven and to get an oven i need to go get another super chip and then that will allow me to make up let me see i can then upgrade like these bad boys or something like that i think is what it is let me see here we can then get the mighty globs so i have the items to make these mighty globs i can make up five of them and it's five to upgrade my weapon which will give me 10 percent more damage that's melee damage and that damage also adds to that lightning damage so every time you upgrade this weapon the lightning damage also upgrades too it scales with it so it's you're getting a lot more damage it is pretty damn sick so i'll be able to get these it costs five mighty globs and i have enough to make exactly five that will give me a 10 percent damage increase and also a 10 percent durability uh, increase on my weapon too which means it doesn't have to be repaired as much uh, and i think that brings us up to a whopping 35 percent increase from the default version of it 
Yeah, that'll bring us up to 35% across the board. I'm not sure what the next upgrades are, if I need more Mighty Globs or if it's another item at that stage. No idea, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, pretty excited to rock this bad boy and check it out because uh, we just rocked up on a wolf spider and just beat his ass down like it was nothing. We were like, yeah, cool. I didn't even like perfect parry every hit. I was went in and just smacked him in the head a few times and he just died. It's absolutely sick. We killed a ladybug in like four hits yesterday because the lightning triggered like every hit. It's stupid the damage you can get done here uh we have some love coming in on the stream already we had nikki dropping the 500 stars saying won't be around today but enjoy your games bud i'll catch up on the stream tonight thank you very much nikki uh how did your games go yesterday i asked you that yesterday but i never seen you were playing with one of your friends how did your games treat you and then we had ethan coming in dropping the one thousand stars yo ethan thank you for the thousand stars dude saying probably not going to be able to hang for long today because i work tonight but i always enjoy uh stopping by for even just a bit ethan much we appreciate it bro good i uh, good see you in the stream of course as well in there thank you very much for the stars appreciate appreciate you guys fucking killing it literally just like starting off the stream and you guys like here you go it's like we haven't even like done our intro yet what are you guys doing I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. Um, we need to store up. Store them up there. Store some of these boys in. You're good. And then are these all raw? We need to cook these up. That's what we need to do. Morning up. What's happening, Stephen? And John, thank you also coming in and dropping the hundo stars in there as well. Oh, god damn, you guys just coming in, killing it with the stars to start off this segment of the stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate that indeed. Thank you, thank you. We're going to make up some of them. Oh, I need to grab that grub sludge and bring it back uh, up here. We need to organize some of these inventories a bit better. That's you. I believe I use grub hide and sap in conjunction. And I can upgrade my armor more with them instead of having to find the specific items, which is pretty damn nice because we can just farm those materials. Um, you go in there. Um, honestly, I don't really need a torch in my inventory man. anymore. A uh, good afternoon to yourself, Massa. Hope your day's been treating you nice and good as well. Um, got a canteen. We have bandages. I've eight bandages. Nice. Um, so that's just for a slow health regen. We have Nat for our uh for our hunger. I've got some of these granola bars left over. I'm going to store them downstairs because we have a load of random food here that we're going to use. So let's store these bad boys downstairs. I think I might have a few other granola bars somewhere else stacked up. Oh, there's more grub hide as well. Nice, 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 nice. So I should be able to make a few nice things. Hmm. No idea, but you guys go in there for now. Thank you. And then our food should be done cooking now. I'm getting my friend into this game because it looks so good. This game is really fucking awesome. And if you have the Xbox Game Pass, it is free. It's just free. And if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you can play the game on Xbox. You can play the game on PC. And you can even play the game on mobile. And it's all cross. It's all cross play across them all. So I could be playing grounded on my phone. Touch buttons. I don't even need a controller. I'd recommend the controller though. Just a heads up. But if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you can play this game off of your phone. You need a Wi-Fi connection, obviously, because uh, it's basically just streaming it to your phone. But you can play it off your phone. It's not streaming from your Xbox. I don't even have an Xbox in this house, and I can play it off my phone. But I can play Grounded off my phone. I could have a bud um, playing on Xbox, and I could have a bud playing on PC, and we can all be in the same session together. Pretty damn sick, man. Pretty damn sick. Yeah. Uh, right, that is all that food. Let's stock you guys up there. That's five. Five is loads. I'll keep those five in my inventory. I want to store up this torch because honestly, I'm not really using torches because I just go ahead and crank my gamma whenever I need it. That has treated us really, really Past fucking well. Arty, potato plays honey. I shrunk the Minecraft and kills wolf spiders. That sounds about right. How's it going? Out? Yeah, that, that sounds honestly about right. <laughs> Going pretty damn good, my sir. Going pretty damn good indeed. Um, I'm going to throw these on there for a slow heal to have. Swap them around as I need. Going good, sir. Appreciate the stars, Doug. Uh, also, Resurgence, thank you for the fresh sub, my bro. Welcome in. Currently on 545 active subs as of right now. Appreciate, appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And dropping the hundo stars at 100 bits in there as well. Muchly appreciate them, I do. Thank you. Uh, let me you see. You enjoying the story? 
Um, I haven't really been paying too much attention to the actual story in the game. The story's there, but it's just like whatever. Like, it's more this survival crafting unlocking that I'm enjoying. Like, you being shrunken down and getting your memories back is just kind of like... It's kind of like sub-content that's in there. It's not anything that really drives the game, and it's not meant to be. It's just a backstory just to have a backstory. I prefer I had it than didn't have it. It just gives us some stuff, uh, but it's like, whatever. Yeah, it's like, whatever. What do I need for you? I need brittle plating. Okay, so for brittle plating, I can do these ones, and this is why we grab these. There's bump, 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 bump. That's why we grabbed all of those so we can craft these up. So that gives me one upgrade there. I can upgrade you once. I can upgrade you once. And that should give me enough to do you also once. Very nice. So that is four upgrades on all of our ladybug armor. So that is now giving us 20% defense, 20% durability on each piece. I can upgrade it once more to bring me up to 25%. And then I believe I need to swap over to the mighty globs but I don't plan on upgrading the ladybug armor past level five because I want to go get the fire ant armor because that has like some corrosion and something else on it, which can help my damage really big time. But I want to go check that bad boy out, but I still want to use the ladybug armor up until then because um, it's fucking sick. The defensive stats on it and that health regen on blocking, beautiful. So fucking good but the fire ant armor helps me kill stuff faster and if i kill stuff faster that means i'm not taking as much damage so it means the heal isn't as necessary the way i'm thinking of it in my head but it's still super useful so i just need one more upgrade in each so that is i imagine it's five each five ten fifteen okay so just need 15 more and to get those 15 more i'm going to just need to get 15 sap and 15 grub hide I've already got a few bits of sap, but basically that in there. Jesus. We got Light coming in, dropping the gifted sub. And then we also got Nexus coming in, also dropping a gifted sub as well. Bringing us up to 547 active subs. Thank you very much, boys and girls. You guys fucking killing it in there. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Where's your Series X? I don't own an Xbox. Don't own an Xbox. If I'm playing any Xbox games, I play them off my PC because Xbox Game Pass. If I'm playing any Xbox games on the go, play them off my phone because Xbox Game Pass. I've also got one of the folding Samsung phones. So it basically open the, the one that opens up into a big one, the, the Fold 4, the, the one that opens from a normal size phone to a fuck off tablet kind of thing. So like that's basically like my little portable pocketable tablet. So I'll just use that bad boy. I do have an actual proper tablet um, as well, but you know, one's always in my pocket and one's, you know, used for other stuff, but yeah so i literally don't need an xbox anymore it's just not as necessary as it used to be um so yesterday somebody mentioned to me that i can actually upgrade my canteen oh i would very much like to upgrade my canteen because right now i can carry two scoops in it i was told that i can upgrade my canteen to make carry more scoops and i was also told that i can upgrade my canteen to make it filter water so I can use dirty water if I want to. It does not have to be perfectly like purified water or whatever. That sounds pretty damn nice and good to me. So let me see, what are things we want to get going on today? I want to get some more brittle plating. I want to upgrade my uh, ladybug armor even more because we're going to be going up to that fire ant area and I need to be maximized out. That area is no joke. Um, I need the most damage and the most defense I can get. Right now, my weapon maxed out cannot increase it anymore. So I'm at my max damage. My defense, I can get 5% more defense on each of my pieces of gear. That will add up. I would like to have that before I make it up there as well. I definitely want to check that bad boy out. Um, other things we need to do is... Oh, yeah, I can make this great sword if I want to. Well, that's pretty dandy. Um, I want to go ahead and make this tick weapon right here. The lifesteal on this thing is meant to be nutty. Uh, but I need to get pine cone pieces. And to get that, I need a tier 3 busting weapon. And to make a tier 3 busting weapon, I need to get pupil ladder. And to get pupil ladder, you would have guessed it, I need a tier 3 chopping weapon. And to get a tier 3 chopping weapon, I need to get termite chompers, which are their heads. And to get those, you guessed it, I need a tier... I, I just need to go kill termites. So basically, go kill termites, make the axe with the axe, go get the items I need. That will give me the pupil ladder, make the hammer with the hammer, get the other items I need. And then that will allow me to make my tick weapon, which... 
I'm honestly not too driven to get as much as I was because the current weapon I'm using, I'm loving it, man. I, the damage is insane. Um, and the stun and the reset on it is so good as well. Um, so that shit's pretty damn good. But what I still want to get is I still want to get the Black Ox Crossbow. And I still need the same items to get those. So I still need to get the Tier 3 um, uh, Chopper and Masher, whatever it's called. What is it called? Busting Tool. <laughs> Busting. Anyway, so we still need to get those, but I'm probably going to make the crossbow first because they use some similar components. Um, I need to get some rust. I get that one in my tier three tools. I need the lint. I get that with my chopper or something, I think. Pinecone, I get that with my, with my fucking busting weapon. Um, the ox beetles, I just got to go kill a couple more of them. One more probably, and I'll have that, but I need some for you. So I, I need to go kill a few of those bad boys to get those things. But yeah, that's that's the setup. We have a lot of things to do. Um... And then we need to make our way up to the... Oh, there's there's another super chip that I need to get. And then that super chip will allow me to get the recipe or the blueprint to make a oven, which will allow me to upgrade my melee weapon even more, which I would very much like to do. So I can also increase my bow's damage if I'd like to as well. Brittle whetstone. Let me have a look. Just before I spend resources, because I do want to get that upgrade. So brittle whetstone. Okay, I can also make those as well. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize out my bow. Should be two more levels. So there's one, ten, boom, and then need mighty glob. Cool. So max that our bow for now. So I'm planning on replacing my bow. And you might be like, well, if you're planning on replacing your bow pretty soon, why did you just uh, you know upgrade your bow? Because the material that it requires to upgrade it pretty cheap and i can just get it easily so no big deal let's see got some of you got some of you got some got some food arrows can i we have a lower level crossbow but honestly the damage on it is pretty me pretty me and i am fully out of materials that i use to make my bows with so i will have to go and get... Oh, I've never scanned this. We should go scan these, just in case. Any other stuff I haven't scanned? Uh, I should go grab some more bow... Um, what do I need? Like, tissels or something? I, I know where to go to get it. I need to get... Uh, I need to go up on the, the tier two... Whatever they're fucking called. I know the items I need. I just forget what they're called. I'd like to say tissel. But I'm not too sure. Yeah. Just did the Termite Hill. Kill the Termite King. Yeah, somebody mentioned it's a Termite King. And I can get a wizard hat and a wizard staff? Is chat fucking with me? Is chat fucking with me? Because that just sounds ridiculous. Sit still, dude. Oh, I, oh my god, he's got the moves. I literally can't hit him. This man has the more movement than a fucking sweaty rate main. Here we go. Jesus. This man out here ain't joking around. So because it's nighttime, let's crank that gamma. Makes it a little bit easier to see at nighttime because torches... Honestly, torches need to light more. They don't light that much. Perfect parry the first one, but it didn't stun him. Bonk, 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 bonk. That lining damage, man. I'm down, yeah, huge. I perfectly, uh, I perfectly parried um, one of his attacks, and usually if you do a perfect parry, it's meant to uh, like interrupt them for a split second. It basically gives them like a little quick, like, oh. But it didn't for him. That was weird. He basically still done a full combo after it. Naughty, naughty, Mr. Spider. Very naughty. But yeah, as you can see, this weapon isn't even maximized out yet. And that damage and the stun and the critical hits and that lightning triggering, 
That damage is insane. And again, when that lightning hits, it hits everything around you. So if you're fighting multiple enemies at once, it's great. Is this live? No, this is a pre-recorded live stream. <laughs> There's literally a live chat on the screen. So, you know, well, that might help out just a wee little bit. And the fact that it's a live stream. But no, this is a offline live stream. Whatever that means. <laughs> of course it's live, baby. Yeah. Wouldn't be much of a live stream if not. So what do I need to aim for next? Hedge stuff that gets me some food. That's some lures. I do want to make up some lures. Waft emitters. There's some cool stuff in there. But we need to scan some shit. That's why we came then. Scan. Give me anything nice? Mushroom slurry. Cool. I just need the just need to get that brain power. We're getting oh, we're getting there, man. We're definitely getting there. If you analyze the Everchar charcoal, according to Google, that will give you the better canteen print. Nice. I imagine I get that from up there, uh, where we're planning going with the termites. Because they're up in that area, right? Yeah. Something like that. I guess you're streaming to more places than YouTube. Yeah, I'm live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook right now. Links are in the description. Yeah. Multi-chat, multi-notifications, everything. It's all the one. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm non-exclusive to any um like streaming platform. Like I'm partnered on pretty much all the streaming platforms, but I'm not exclusive to any of them. So I multi-stream because I can. I also done it before Ninja. I just want to say that real quick. <laughs> right, let's throw up some of these spider pieces. Uh, one thing that's really handy is these spider pieces are quite nice. Those extra fangs and everything are like really, really good. And I can actually use up any surplus pieces to make some glue. Any additional pieces I can make repair glue with like 53 spare spider chunks in there. Um, and with all these repair glues, one repair glue will fully... Re I'm pretty sure it's one, yeah. One will repair this entire weapon. One. I think I've got a load of repair glue already stacked up somewhere as well. Uh, well if I was some repair glue, where would I have put it? I definitely made up some, right? Oh. It's in the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's in it. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, I forgot. It stays sitting in it after you make it. So yeah, repair glue is some good stuff. So already, I can repair my primary weapon five times fully. And it's about to be ten times right there. That is a lot. Especially because the durability on this thing is pretty damn sick. Pretty damn sick. Right, let's drink some water. Let's... Well, let's sleep now, actually, before we drink some water. Because... We just have to drink water again, right? So we want to make our way over to the termite area. We want to get some charcoal while we're over there as well. Um, kill the termites. Maybe check out this termite king I've been told about. Sounds pretty damn cool and interesting. And uh, and we'll see. Oh, grab these. Stack some more in. Always updating stuff as we go. One thing I like about when you sleep is that the game time actually progresses. So if you have something that takes time, you're still you're still good. Uh, how are you guys? Okay, good. That jerky done. And you go in there, bye. Thank you. Gotta remember. I'm not using a dandelion right now, so no jumping out the windows. But yeah, it's really, really good. Loving the gameplay uh, when I can watch. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate that. So thank you, thank you. So yeah, let's make our way um, over and see what the deal is with this termite area. And we, of course, also unlocked up... Um, we unlocked up zip lines now. So we've already made our first zip line. I need to start making up other zip lines to get me to other areas too, because that's going to come in huge. Mm -hmm. Bring sizzle gear. I, I'm all good. I have um, I have the mutation that gives me. Do, 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 do. We got this bad boy right here. Fresh defense. It gives me gas resist. My chat's kind of blocking it. Burn resist and sizzle protection. And we have that maxed out tier three. So that should treat me all right. I should hope. I could make up a full set of uh, antline armor. We have all the material for it if I want. So I could make up a full set of antline armor. Oh, hello. 
So we can make a full set of antline armor if we'd like to. Uh, and that will also give me sizzle protection too. I'm not sure what the full stack does. But I know I'm not really going to use the armor. So I don't really want to craft it just to waste it, yeah. Damn, boy. Point out, he was stunned and he just freely attacked me. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. Fuck you. Man, wolf spiders are so aggressive. Like, even though he was stunned, he still attacked. That's not how that's meant to work. Wolf spiders are on some next level shit. But, uh... Yeah, you can see that when this weapon triggers its special effect, how much damage it does. And the stun and everything is just absolutely ridiculous on it. Like, that's a wolf spider that we just stood, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe and just was like, Yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing? Like, those guys ain't no joke. Mm-hmm. How high can you build up? Can you build up the sides of the big tree? We built up a little bit of the tree. I don't know how high up we can actually go. We haven't, um, we haven't adventured that far yet. See what we can find. But I do want to ideally build up and around the entire tree. And then I want to have like a whole like little base station of zip lines that will lead me to each part of the game. I think that'd be really cool. Um, so right now our base is connected to one of the tree stumps for stability reasons. We got stairs going up and around. Then it's free floating connected to the stairs. And then we got two levels. And then I want to ideally build another level up there with some ladders and then spread it out and make kind of like a T-shape, and then make a big, completely around platform that goes the whole way around the tree. So I can go up and walk around the entire... Like, I want to build up to about that high, if that's possible. And I want to have a platform that brings me around the tree, like it's connected to the tree. And then from there, have like different crafting stations, uh, you know, items that are just renewable and resources, and then have like zip lines connected to like one here, leading out that way, one there, leading out that way, and so on. That's the ideas. We'll see if we can get to that level of stuff, because I'm not sure what our limitations are. Ah. Fuck you, mosquito. I just need the grub stuff. Sorry, I need it for the upgrades. Yeah, look at that. I just blocked him and it triggered the lightning effect. Bonk, bonk. What's up, baby? You don't want this smoke? Oh, so I think I accidentally aggroed this ant. Bad. Bad mosquito. Gib, 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 gib. So we just got a new mutation, which when I block, I like charge up electrical damage. But I'm not fully sure how it works. We got it for beating the uh, assistant, dude. But I'm not sure exactly how it works. Like how long? Because we fought that wolf spider and never triggered there. Like, does it... Because I shot an arrow and the lightning seemed to trigger. I, I need to read the, the little text on it and see actually how it works. We need to figure that one out. With the wombo combo. So I think my shield ability triggered right there as well. As well as my lightning. So let's 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 give it a read. So we got this new mutation. You get this for beating the assistant manager security dude. That was an insane boss fight that we done yesterday. If you missed that, check out yesterday's stream, by the way. So fits of anger become fierce retaliation. Blocking attacks converts their energy into static electricity, occasionally unleashing a powerful burst. So basically, you block a handful of attacks, 
you do a bit of lightning damage, which is kind of what a primary weapon does. So it's hard for us to tell when it's my weapon that's triggering or when it's my mutation that's triggering. So what I need to do is I should actually probably put away this weapon and test to see how regular that static shock ability builds up Those and uh, how much damage it actually does. Like, is it actually worthwhile? That's what we got to figure out. Or should I just rock some other mutations? But it's a mutation that we got for, like, beating a pretty hardcore boss. So I imagine it's pretty damn good. And does perfect parries count? Or is it only when I block? Like, do I have to just block it? Because we probably perfect parry more than we block. So that's my weapon triggering there. So I'm just going to block and see what happens. Come on, just hit me a lot of times. I don't know if it just randomly triggers or not. Or if I have to attack. Because there's no visual on the screen that I'm seeing that shows me when. Does my character visually, like, charge up? Oh, I see. It's on It's on my character's uh, user interface now. I seen it. So then where I have that little bit of a health regen, it pops up there and it triggers on your next hit. Ah, okay. So I actually see when it triggers and I have a few seconds. So basically you block a handful of attacks. I'll see it down the bottom of my screen. Um, and then it just triggers on my next hit. So it even triggers on my bow shot. I wasn't paying attention to how much health that mosquito had. But we definitely need to see, man. Ooh, that could that could be really nice. That could be really, really nice. Will you be trying out the new Minecraft when it comes out? Make your own mobs? I'll be, what? The new Minecraft? You talking about Minecraft Legends? Is that what that's called? That game looks like it could be pretty cool. It could either be really cool or really shit, if that's the game you're talking about. The one that's kind of like uh, uh, top down, like you, you ride around and it's all that. Is that the one you're talking about? Or was there something else? Yeah. The assistant manager fight was cool. That thing was sick, man. Go to the inventory and towards the bottom right, you will get a better description of your uh, status stuff. Yeah, so I know if we go here, this gives me all this breakdown. But it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show me this. You said an inventory? This is just the exact same. This, just, this is all just your bonuses for equipped stuff. So, same thing. Bottom down here, status page here. They're identical. It's literally that this is the same as this. There's no difference. But because it's a mutation, it works a little bit differently. It doesn't just display there defaultly. Yeah, it's a funky one. Come on, Mr. Orb Weaver. <laughs> That is how OP this weapon is. It is so strong. I also want to point out I'm currently regenerating health after that fight. So the reason I'm regenerating health is because I'm wearing the full set of ladybug armor. And if you wear the full set of ladybug armor, so each armor set has a bonus if you're wearing the full set. So because I have all the ladybug pieces on, uh, which is below my camera, which is over here. So because I have each of the ladybug pieces on right now, I actually get a bonus, which is called Scarlet Embrace. Occasionally heals after blocking an attack. Not even a perfect block, just blocking. I basically get a mini uh, fiber bandage um, every couple blocks. And that's it. Like, from any enemy. Any enemy. So, like, let's see. Was there an ant here? Give me a minute, Mr. Ant. So, our survivability is pretty damn good right now. Our damage output is kind of ridiculous, too. Like, really high. Give me just a random enemy to attack. Uh, I'm just going to kill an aphid if I hit him. Here's an ant. Can I just bap you once? 
So I'm just going to block. And I'm getting health back right now. So I can just kill this guy. Yeah, whatever. Bye. But I'm getting health back. My health is slowly regenerating right now. Because I literally blocked this guy once. Once. I just want to swap these weapons around to make a little more sense. Uh, you go on that slot. Well, I put you there. And then... You go here. Bum, bum, bum. Shovel, you, that. Yeah, come here. Need to get more grubs, funk. Thank you. I don't care about the meat. I just need those thingies. Okay, what items do I have? I'm stacked in a few extra things. Let's drop some of this stuff back. I ended up killing a couple big mobs on my way over here. Let's drop some stuff off, and let's just send it straight over to turn my area. I got some good items that I um, I want to return back to my base that I can use for a lot of stuff. You're basically Tor? Yeah, it's ridiculous. So this weapon has a bug on it, which sometimes when you perfect parry, it just triggers the weapon's ability. So I can kill enemies by just blocking them. It's pretty low, but Welcome it happens. Like, come on. Not there. Let's see. So I'm getting health for just blocking to begin with here. I want to see how often it triggers. Right there. So I just, I have not attacked this guy. I've just blocked. And since I've been blocking, I've regenerated health and I've done that much damage to him. Which isn't a lot of damage, but for blocking, that's just free damage. There we go, just did it again. I've taken off one bar of his health without even attacking him once. And I've regenerated health at the same time. Insane. Like, I just stood there and let an Orb Weaver attack me on repeat. And I'm, I better be on full health because of that. That's broken, man. All right, I did let my shield take a lot of hits. Black and parts. Cool, I should have those back in my base. I need to go back there, drop some stuff off. Ridiculous. Also, should I bump? <laughs> I don't know what you're referring to, Spike. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand where that hatred is coming from. No idea. I didn't hop in Spike's stream last night and just said shut up as the only thing. No. It doesn't sound like me. No idea. Andrea, what's happening with yourself? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have the urge to mod that weapon into Milnorn. Right? I think that would look so sick. I don't know what the deal... Because this is an Xbox game. I know we're on, on PC still, though. But is it possible to do any mods in this game? On the Xbox side, obviously, no. But on the PC side, maybe? Like, nothing, nothing ridiculous. Like, I'm sure there could be, like, some texture replacement. Like, I could basically take the file that shows the texture for this weapon and replace it with a million texture. That's Tor's hammer. Like, why not, right? That can be pretty tight. That can be pretty tight indeed. Sounds like something that did. Just sounds cool. Right, let's drop some stuff off because we have too many fucking items. Uh, where do I have some spider pieces? You guys go in there, you go in there, in, 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 upstairs, in, in, in. Uh, keep a few of these in my inventory. I like to keep like six of each of these things in my inventory. So if I need to craft bandages when I'm out in the go, or if I need to just like make up any specific items, I just, I can which is just really nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I drop you upstairs. And then I want to repair my shield because I let it take a lot of hits on purpose for testing purposes. And you go in there. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's turn you into jerky. And we're doing pretty good on those bad boys. Let's just make sure my hunger is good. I ate the wrong thing. Whoopsie. Whatever. Didn't mean to eat one of those. Right, come on, Mr. Lads. 
and I need to kill a couple of you because I at the wrong item. You're an ant. Oh, thank you. You already killed one for me. So one thing I want to work on today is we have, we've made a weevil like spawn area. So weevils are attracted to mushrooms. You just drop mushrooms on the ground, they'll just come over. As you can see, here's, here's another weevil. It makes it really easy for me just getting base food outside of my house. But I want to add to it even more. So I want to make a trap area for weevils. So I want to get a more flatter area and basically make an area where weevils can go in, but not come out. So I can just go over and there'll just be a handful of weevils. Because right now the weevils will come over into the area and then sometimes they'll leave. Other times they'll stay in the area. Right now there's only a couple of weevils here. Usually there's like five to ten most of the times, but right now there is only two. So what I want to do is I want to see if it's possible to make a trap. One that they can go into, but can't get out of. And I think I should be able to make that pretty damn easily. But I want an area that's a little more flatter and open so that they have like a wider spawn area. That's something I also want to do today. It might work. I don't know what the deal is with them potentially despawning. We'll see. Right, that's all you. We have two of them left. And while we're waiting for that, let's drop off some stuff and repair our shield at the same time. Uh, you go in there. And repair. Boop! Full shield. Who this? Sort those up. Play back doll. Did you get the zipline yet? We did indeed. Yes, we've already made our first zipline. We made our way over to the sandbox, which is pretty cool. That's kind of like a half already made zipline, but we can now, of course, make our own ziplines, which is really, really cool as well. Just replace the weapons with dildos. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> of course, that's the first thing everyone wants. Don't blame you. I'm on the same boat. Okay, give me you. And what time are we at right now? 876. Okay. So if I sleep. You know what? I'm gonna sleep now. That's gonna put us like mid nighttime. Oh, I can't I can't even sleep yet. We gotta wait a minute. That's annoying. Okay, well, while we're waiting for it to get a little bit later. Let's see if we can... I think there's a nice flat spot over here that I was thinking of. If I want to make up this uh, food trap spawn area. Oh, one of these? Yeah, boom. I think one of these would be perfect for it. Right here. So what I was imagining... Yeah, this is a nice flat area. So what I was imagining was... We do something. We go like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So is there some gaps under these? I don't know if they can get out from under there. I don't know if they can fit out from under there, so I might need to block those off. But so I was thinking something like this. That's a nice big area. And then... Get those corner pieces. Because they need to be able to get in. So I'll make ramps so they can get in, but not so they can get out. Oh, I need, I need one more. And then, what else? One of these, right? And then just... So I don't know what the despawn rate is if they do. If I can just trap them in here and they'll stay in here, or if they'll just despawn after a while, no idea. A oh. Couple more. Keep forgetting about the final corner. So make up something a little bit like this. So they can walk into it. But then once they go in, they can't just jump back out. Now there is like a gap right here. I might need to block that off. They might not be able to make it through there. No idea. Um, and then 
all we gotta do is just drop the food in the middle. I could make a little podium for them to um, not be able to touch the food because they don't actually eat the food. So all I do is just drop some mushrooms right here. That's it. Drop some mushrooms. So weevils will be attracted to the mushrooms. They'll go over to eat them. They never eat them, though. But they'll go towards them as if they're going to eat them. Uh, but then they don't. So ideally, this area here is going to... Like, I might need to make this... This might be too big. But fuck it. It gives us more space. So this would attract weevils in towards the mushrooms. They'd walk over, fall in, but then they can't get back out. And that's the basis of it. So all I need is some weed stems for all of you guys. It's two per because they're pretty uh, cheap. Uh, clover and then sap for each of these. And same with the corner pieces. And that's basically all I require to make this. Which is not very much at all. So I'm going to leave that here for now. This is something I want to test. I don't know if this is even going to work. But I like testing these things and figuring out if I've just wasted my time. It saves you from having to do it. And this way, if this just does work, this is super easy to recreate. It takes no time whatsoever, and the resources are pretty damn cheap on it. So if this does work, this is a nice sustainable food area that you can just, like, leave them trapped in. So that'd be kind of tight. But we have to see. Yeah. Use campfires and hoppers on their knee. <laughs> right, get them roasted up, ready to go. Not Minecraft spike god. Keep up with the actual game we're playing. Click, 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 click. Yeah, learn the game, Spike. Right, we should be good to sleep now. I am 20 seconds off. Will this food make it through tonight? Let's eat one just in case. Surprisingly not terrible. Now we wait. Hope you're having a good day. Um, yeah, chillin', baby. Chillin'. Continuing the grinded gameplay. We have a lot of stuff to do. And... 12 seconds. Uh, again, guys, don't forget we have a giveaway going on right now. Just type in the chat, exclamation mark, giveaway, and they'll give you the info. Uh, we're doing... Uh, it's open for all viewers. $50 cash money. Boom. Easy. Check it out. You're welcome. Ah, come on. Nearly there. Two more in game minutes. One more in game minute and sleep. So it still should be dark. We should be pretty prime. It's not even 5 a.m. yet, so we're pretty good here. And did that food go bad? Oh my god, it's about to go bad any second. Ooh, we just, just about got that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Throw a few of those bad boys in there. Get these. Let's see. What do I have lots of that I don't care about right now? Some more spider chunks. I want a couple of them. Ladybug parts still repairs my armor. Ant lion, uh, ant lion parts. I might still make some stuff, so we'll leave them for now. But that's already 10 of you. Throw you in there. And... God damn it, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can grab more of you and everything else in there. Looking pretty damn good. Right. Drink some water. Cantina is full. Then we can send it out. Gib, gib, gib. That's not so bad. Throw the jerky in. We're good to go. Mm mm mm. It's not a clickable link. Um, it is. It might just go off of your device. If you have a bad device, you just might not be able to do it. I don't know. Come here. I need more of these grub boys. Link is clickable. I just did it. Yeah, link should be clickable. It's a link. That's the whole point of a link. Might be your device. Might be the version you're on. Uh, you might have a small peen. Uh, overall, I can. I don't have control over making a link clickable or not clickable. Type in the chat, exclamation mark giveaway. There's the link. That's it. Do it. The link's not clickable. Screenshot it. Copy the text from the image. Boom. You're welcome. Easy. Or just go onto my Twitter because it's been posted there. 
or just go on to the Discord because it's also been posted there too. But exclamation mark giveaway. Easy. Yeah, if the link's not clickable, there's nothing I can do about that. Sounds like it's hit and miss for some people, but that's not something I can control. That just goes off of your device. Sucks to suck. Good as the Tuesdays, Amp and Amber. I mean, shut the fuck up, Chad. What's happening, dude? I am better make my way up and try fuck with some termites. I'm a supposed termite king. That I'm excited to do. Very excited to do. I want to check that shit out big time. Parkour. We have one more upgrade to do for our armor until our armor is maxed out for the stage we're on. It's not fully maxed out, but it's as maxed out as we can get it um, for the progress of the game we've been through, which is pretty good. Um, our weapon is maxed out until we get these next upgrades, but we got to go up here and do some more stuff. Is that a grapple in your hand? No, nope. that's just a robot arm. Yeah, this is a melee weapon. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's keep rocking. <laughs> Bro, those ants go hard. Excuse me. Sorry, I don't need any bombardier parts. So, bye. I like that I can basically just take all, like, the bug parts and smash them into glue. It's a fisting weapon. What kind of fucking weird shit are you into? God damn. Taking a look around. The fuck is that thing? Oh, it's a gnome. <laughs> Leave me alone. I have no quarrels with you. Thanks for the free health regen, though. Bye. I literally don't need mosquitoes for anything. And they're just annoying to kill. It's really annoying to kill. <laughs> a gnome. Yeah, that's what they're called. It was a gnome. That thing over there. It's a gnome. What? What the fuck do you call it? <laughs> I'm not a troll. You're a troll. Shut up. All right, we're going to make our way up onto the table. Got to glide over. There's got there's got to be a better way, right? I can't just have to glide over every single time. Well, I should probably just make up a zip line soon. Probably something we should do. Because I do want to start getting back up to that area more regularly. Because we're kind of getting more powerful, more geared. We're just getting better at the game. So that is like the high end. Like that's the high threat area of the game. But that's where you're going to get some of the best stuff. Where some of the biggest enemies are too. Yeah. Do, do, do. I'm going to put them like this. Ah. Got to chop this in my way. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Pushed me off. The actual animation of it falling down still gets you. Get gnomed, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's literally what it's from. It's just a meme. You've been gnomed. That was from a little while ago. I'm probably not gonna be able to jump past that. Chop it down, that's the answer. That's right, you fall that way. Bish. Thank you. All the way up. Now, do you gotta be careful? Because most of the bees up here are hostile. But I will fuck with you if you get a little bit too close. Parkour. So it is a tier three, yeah, tier three busting tool, which we're going to be getting today. It will obviously get rust, which allows us to make up a lot of other items, blah, blah, blah. So tier three chopping tool, which will then let us get our tier three um, pummeling tool or whatever is the fuck it's called. What is it called? Busting tool. Um, and then from that, I'll be able to get my crossbow and a few other items too that I was unable to get because we need those tools to be able to get those tools. What a funny setup. 
We just got a tier two shovel yesterday as well. I haven't really used it for anything, but we have it. So that's something. I wish someone would push me off a bridge. <laughs> Same. Same. All right, this bee here is going to aggro us, but honestly, there's no point in even fighting it. What I want to do is I want to have my dandelion on now so I can just jump across where I want to be. So I'm going to just ignore this guy if possible. Sprint straight past him. Nice. Cool. Usually he aggros us. He was busy Taking a doing look that. Around. Good for him. So there's nothing up on the table we need to do right now. Uh, we've already done all the stuff up on the table. We need to just make our way straight over. If you have a bomb, you can knock over the shovel. Yeah, the shovel lays me up onto the picnic table. I'm aware of that. We just built our own way because fuck it. Funny. Um, but that's I still need to glide to get over to this segment. Getting up onto the picnic table, no big deal. We, we built our own way up because we just thought it was funny. Um, the shovel is... There's the tip of the shovel. I just place a bomb at the end of the shovel and it does drop and I can just sprint straight up. But to get from here over to there, I still need a dandelion. So I ideally want to make like some zipline shit going on because our base is right over there. It's like built onto the tree. So I want to build our base up higher, have a platform that fully 360s around it. And then on that top level, I want zip lines heading off into each direction. So I have a zip line that leads us like to here, which gets us up to where we need to be. A zip line that leads us over to the hedge, a zip line that maybe even just leads us right to here. Um, loads of different zip lines. So we need to stack up on a lot more uh, silk tread because the longer the zip line is, the more uh, material it costs to make. So I need to start stacking up. That's why every time I'm back in my base, I'm throwing in more tread into that uh, into that spinner. So that way, when the time comes, we've hopefully got a lot. Okay, thank you. Put this bad boy back on. So let's swap out one of our mutations for a second and put on fresh defense, gas resist, burn resist, and sizzle protection. So am I just immune from sizzle? Because it doesn't say sizzle resist, sizzle protection. So am I just good to free roam around these areas now? I'm sizzling. No, I guess it just reduces. These guys are no joke, and there's two of them. Pretty good. Hey, buddy. time that fuck you man those guys are rough two of them at once pretty pleased with that but damn those guys are no joke Whew. we're all right though we're all right we're good <laughs> got you what is it you're holding mm, a weapon that that's our weapon. Does it say the name of it when I equip it? Oh no, it doesn't. This is called the Pinch Whacker. I showed at the beginning of the stream how to get it, so you can just scroll back and check that out if you want. I would prefer not to have to fight you. Yeah, those ladybug ones are hardcore, man. We don't really need to do anything with them. We want to come over here and make our way up to the top level now. Yeah, they don't fuck around. Do wolf spiders live under the grill? Yeah, yeah, we've already fought them before. This is not our first time in this area. <laughs> I've died in this area like many times. This area is oh. But yeah, if you follow up the brim, you can avoid uh, getting sizzled over there, which is quite nice. Uh, honestly, I had no benefit over putting on this mutation, so I'm going to put this bad boy back on. So we want to find the termites. So, do I get the coal by the termites, or do I get the coal from here? Yeah. Fuck 
fuck you. This weapon, man. Mmm. So good. So yeah, how do I go about actually getting some of the coal? Because I need the coal to get um, the upgraded version of my canteen, is what I was told. And probably some other things too. It's literally just by the grill, in front of it, behind it. So let's see, without the sizzle protection on, how quickly do I sizzle? That's the speed it goes up by at that distance. Okay. And with burn resistance, sizzle protection. Way slower. Way slower. Half the speed. You need a tier three hammer to get it? Do I need a tier three busting tool to get it? Oh, that's annoying. Woo! That shit is no joke. I was just checking that there. Oh. A little bit closer than I realized. I think I can make it like right in between there. <laughs> yeah. Even from behind that shit uh, figures away. I just heard one. Where you at, big boy? I heard you. But yeah, if I need a tier three tool for it, then there's there's nothing we can do right now because we're gonna be getting that. Where you at, big boy? I just like to see the exact item I need to harvest, just so I know. Yeah, I've got all the material to make Antlion armor as well. I just ha haven't made it because I haven't needed to. I think this isn't why we're here. We're here to go uh, get up to the to the termite hill. Shit. No, 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 no. I do need to kill what? more of these. Wait, why is it saying peep him? I've already... Oh, I, I never peeped the ladybug lever. Um, I do need to kill this boy. I need to kill a couple more of them. I just don't know if I can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them or not. I can't say because I'm technically still in a battle. Um... I'm going to just sit back because he's aggroing the... Am I good? Cool. Nice. Woo! You got some range on you. Try it again. Try it again. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. What's up? And options I'd like to save. I just had an auto save, but still. So, what's the deal with fighting you, point blank, big boy? Like, what's the deal with going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you? Let's see it. I want to see what kind of damage he does. Really? Really? You're going to trigger me as well? Oh, my God. I just perfect parried that rock. That's insane. First non-perfect parry. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Fuck with that larval, dude. I perfect parry that. That does no damage to me. Yeah, fight him. Fight him. Oh, my God. Come on. Ah. 
I did not hmm. perfect parry that one. I need this normally. Or that one. I would have easily killed him if all those other things didn't spawn in. One of those, one of those larval guys can like tree hit kill me and three of them spawned in. <laughs> Fucking three of them. Fuck off. I'm fighting this ridiculous enemy that I've never tried go toe to toe before. I've only killed one of these guys and that was um, just getting height, shooting them with an arrow. I put, I took like 80 arrows to kill it. <laughs> God. Damn. So if I could just fight you just by yourself, I think I'm pretty good. Charge me. Ladybug Larval did spawn in. But I'm hoping this aggro in him. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. So, uh, I didn't mean to throw my boat. So, we uh, are able, once once I block the majority of attacks, I can just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that thing. Uh, pretty easily as well. Like, damn. Uh, I'm going to be honest, 100% carried by the weapon that we're using. This pinch whacker is brokenly strong. Ooh. It was like, yeah, the pet helping you in battle? I was, I'm surprised that the, the smaller guy didn't come over and attack me because every time my lightning attack triggers at this weapon, it hits everything around it. Because when we were fighting that ladybug larva, it was already like 75% of its health was gone. And the big guy never attacked at once. That was just from this weapon hitting it naturally at the same time. Broodmother next? I want to check it out, yeah. Go in the charcoal bag for secret. I don't know what that means. That's words, but I don't know what that means. Yeah, these guys are no joke. guys will fuck you up man two of them at a time is hard uh i'm fucking out of food right now i'd eat too much food i have some small bandages and that's really about it i think we need to uh dip out for a sec i mean this is probably what bottled water is yeah i think we need to dip out for a sec 
throw some items in because I really need those black ox items. Like they are huge for a lot of things I need to make. So I think we follow the wall along here, jump off, make our way back to our base, drop off some of the items, stack back up in some more food. I was not planning on finding that many ladybug larvas at once as well as a black ox uh, fucking beetle, but we did and we're pretty damn good. I also want to make sure that this weapon is fully repaired before I go into the termite area because they're going to be some fun. Yeah, they're going to be some fun. Go fight a ladybird. Ladybirds have absolutely nothing on, um, on those black ox beetles dude yeah they, they have nothing on the black ox beetles a, ba a black ox beetle could take on like three wolf spiders at a time and win mm -hmm. <laughs> to the left go in the bag you realize there's a stream delay like i'm like 500 meters away from where you just even mentioned just being like, right there does not help during a live stream. Because there's a delay. There's still a couple seconds from what you see and what's on the screen. So, yeah, you saying left. When you say that, that's like five seconds later for me kind of a thing. So, <laughs> not useful information, basically. A vague information does not help out on a live stream is what I'm trying to say. Got to be more uh, consistent with it. A little more specific. We're following the wall. Our base is just over by that uh, tree. So I'm just trying to follow the wall up as much as I can, and then we'll jump over. Weevil pit build as well. I, I haven't even made that. I just set up, like, the boundaries for that. Bunk. Sorry, I have no stamina. Can you, like, chill for a sec? Bunk, bunk, bunk. That was a worker ant. A fucking worker ant. They're strong, man. I want to kill up loads of fire ants because I want to make fire ant armor next. I, I'm pretty sure I can increase my damage by like another 30% if I if I get that armor. Yeah. You don't have a dandelion on? Yeah, it's in my inventory though. I always have one in my inventory just in case. Ah, uh, this is probably the best spot. I was wondering if there's areas you could just jump straight into the water, but it'd have to be the whole way over there. This is just closer. But I got a dandelion right here. Good. Just script it literally for that. So, stream. I imagine termites are not weak to spicy attacks. Right? If I had to imagine, I'd say spicy attacks does not increase our damage. So, I would probably have to... The only other charm I have that increases my damage is the salt damage. Would that do more damage against termites? I don't know what their weaknesses are because we've never seen them yet. So, no idea. Well, hey, little fella. How you doing? Please don't eat me. I would be very sad if you did. Be very sad. All right, back over. Let's get ourselves some food. Let's repair our weapon. It's only on half durability, which is still fine, but I want to make sure we're all in tippity top shape. Uh, store up all of those big boy items we just got, and then we can keep rocking. Heat. Don't tease us with a build then. That's something that I said I was going to do way later on. I don't even know if that's going to work. This is just an idea I had. But building a food pit is over getting my tier tree axe to get my tier tree pummeling weapon to get my tier tree crossbow. So that way I can make all these other items. It, those kind of prioritize a little bit more than making a food area. Just a little bit. I'm going to do that whenever. Termites are weak to chopping and salty. Nice. I believe one of the items we have actually is salty. I think it is like some salt damage. I should put that on if I'm going up against the termites. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's what that one was. That we have. I'll have to go check. Let's store up. 
store, store, store. You go up, you go in. Uh, and 19 of them. Wow. 20 of you? Jesus. Uh oh. I think we're under attack. Larva attacking coming. I guess I. In my defense, they attacked me. Let's see what we can find. Is it just normal larval? Oh, it's just. <laughs> uh, that's cute. Okay. Bring it, lads. Just normal larval. I thought it was going to be the ladybug larval. I was like, hey, they actually attacked me, so. Come on. They're targeting that, but they can't get up there. Oh, that was close. They nearly had me. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Where'd you go? Come here. Hey, Mr. Grub. I need your items to get some upgrades. Thank you. Get me some food before I go up to this termite area. Any more boys around? More of these over here too. Larva can actually jump up too, can they? Oh, that's funny. Well, it was just normal larva, so it was like... It was laughable, honestly. Sucks to be them. You can get the salt Morningstar weapon blueprint from the chest under the sandcastle. There's a map to the key in the small lab center of the sandpit. I know where the key is. That's the... It's under the, the yellow shovel or something, right? Yeah, no, we're fine. I'm going to use this weapon. I'm going to just put it on salt damage. Make it do that additional, you know? Is that could 10 the most for you? Huh. guess because it's not a resource. Well, I want to use one of these to repair this tool anyway, so... And the other one can go in here. Uh, one of you, keep you. You go in, uh, you go in, you go in. That's good. Loads of items, good. Good. Uh, we got you guys. Can I craft up? It was these ones, right? Upgrade armor. Yeah. Five. Ten. I just need 15. That leaves me more spare. And that should allow me... I crafted the wrong ones. I was meant to craft these ones. Well, there's five. Not a big deal. I still need to use the other ones for future stuff anyway. But... That's you currently maxed out. Oh, we have the root for bulkiness. So what we got? We got sleek, which increases healing, but only gives me a 5% increase. Or I can go bulky, which gives me 10% and the same craft material. Nice. Ooh, that's interesting. So I can, on my next upgrade, I choose what root I want to go with my armor. So I can go bulky or sleek. If I go bulky, I get a 10% defense increase and a 10% durability increase. If I go sleek, I get a 5% defense, 5% durability, but increases my healing. That's pretty damn good. So I imagine I get to do that with each of these pieces next. So I still need to make up a few more of these. Sweet. We don't have that option with our weapons yet. I'm curious to see if we get that option for our weapons too. But very nice. So yeah, I need to get uh, I need to get some more of uh, grub hides to upgrade the rest. Very nice though. And you go, you go upstairs, you go in there. Yeah, that's tight, man. Sick. 
go sleek, it's the best. Well, then, it depends on your build and what you're doing, right? At least it's clean. Not one thing is the, you know, perfect, because it depends what you're doing and what your build and setup is. But, for what I'm thinking, sleek does sound the better for our kind of style and stuff that we're doing right now. Especially with the ladybug armor, because when you block with the ladybug armor, you get health regeneration. So increasing that health regeneration even more seems really nice to me, because that triggers so commonly, and being able to push that a little bit more just sounds fucking sick. Sounds really fucking sick. Um, oh yeah, cook food. One, two, three. Uh, I'd like to get like two more pieces. Any more weevils then before we go? Hey yo, AOD with the five months. Thank you, my sir. Appreciate, appreciate. Welcome back in. That's a few months right there. And that's how you crank your gamma. I literally couldn't even see that weevil. I hear more. Thank you. That's two more pieces. That's all I needed. Let's go back up. Ladybug sleep combined with a complicated badge is overpowered because a perfect block will fill your health. Really? Damn. That sounds pretty sick. I don't really want to increase ladybug armor any further right now because I want to make the fire ant armor and I might be making that my main set of armor. So I don't want to put all my additional resources into maximizing the ladybug armor. I wanted to get it to tier five across the board because uh, those resources are fine. But anything over that would uh, be a little extra that I'm willing to spend. Yeah. Bye to you. Thank you. Gonna... Shiny salt crystal. Perfect. This is the item I wanted to put on. This adds salt damage. And we also have you as well. Which increases our corrosion damage. I don't have any corrosion damage yet. But I believe once we get that red ant armor, the fire ant armor, it does. I want to see how that scales. Could be cool. Are uh, you going there? Store you. I wouldn't mind making up. I got three, four, five. Have five of these in my inventory. Would be nice. Uh, I've got some stuff for hunger. And then I got my food done better cook up. Nice. We'll sleep. And then we make our way back over to where we need to be going. Thank you. It's five of you. It's looking good. And what time is it actually? Be back up at 5 a.m. Boom, perfect. Have you gotten the better canteen that lets you hold four drops? No. So there's a couple different canteens. So there's a canteen, which is the charcoal canteen. I can't get that until I get my tier three, um, like smashing weapon or whatever it's called. Um, so we're going to be getting that during the stream, which is going to be nice. Um, we'll be getting that bad boy. That'd be good. Put those in there and boop and you go um and then so the charcoal one allows us to basically filter dirty water which is just really fucking cool honestly uh and then there's another one that allows us to carry up to four drops of water so we got a couple different uh That's upgrades we can do which sounds pretty damn nice good thing i'm hungry have all our mushrooms just consume straight up here get that hunger going on There we go. And I accidentally at one, uh, picked up one of these. Boom. Easy full hunger just sitting on that level. Be back in a little while. See you in a little bit, Phil. Fully repaired. Loads of arrows. We have our salt charm on to increase our salt damage. We've got a fresh dandelion. Termites ain't gonna know I fucking hit them, bro. Right, let's not get distracted. Let's not fuck with any other things along the way. Let's just get to where we need to be. Because very easy to... Uh, Fight loads of really high level enemies along the way because that area has so much good enemies that I, I need to kill. Uh, I do 100% need all of these though. I will be stopping to kill any grub I see because uh, every grub hide I can make an upgrade item for. Taking a look around. 
We've already killed enough big ass wolf spiders. Let's just keep rocking. Do, 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 do. Fuck you. Sucker dick. Not even looting it. I do not need the inventory space. Oh. Why are you aggro on me, dude? What's your problem? What's your problem, dude? Fuck you won't do what you tell me. Son of a bitch. Howdy! What's happening, machine? Welcome back in. And um, I finally figured out how to add gain onto my mic. I uh, didn't realize how much it increased by until I watched my stream back and 90% of the audio was me breathing down the mic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You can... Uh, I actually monitor my own audio, which basically means I hear my voice through my... Mi my microphone is live in my headphones. Uh, that is a really good thing to do, especially if you're starting to stream for the first time. It's a good habit to get into. It can be a little bit distracting for the first couple of streams hearing yourself at the same time as you talk because it is coming through your headphones kind of a thing but it is super nice i'd recommend every streamer live monitors their audio which basically means so i hear my gameplay i hear my music i hear my alerts through my headset right and i know oh my alerts are too loud i need to lower them then how do i manage my voice audio right i hear them through my headset so i compare that so i would recommend it's a little bit weird it takes a minute to get used to but it's absolutely way worthy you can do that through obs uh, you can right click your microphone in obs and you can go into like advanced uh audio properties and you can set it to literally monitor and output uh, or something like that and basically you will hear yourself through your headphones as you speak but that will help you make sure your levels are good if you're playing a game and you can't hear your own voice over the game sound that means your viewers can't hear you over the game sound so you know you need to lower your game sound uh, and then you know other stuff like that it basically just means you always have full control on what the volumes are if your voice sounds so loud through your headphones probably sounds so loud for your viewers too it's a little bit finicky it's a little bit weird a lot of people don't like it but it's it's like one of those recommendations that first-time streamers should absolutely get into a habit of because again as i said it is weird and it's a little bit off putting for the first little bit hearing yourself at the same time as you talk but you do hear yourself as you talk in real life so what's the difference uh, but it's it's different obviously but i would definitely recommend it oh wrong item you're not a grub that wasn't the grub yeah would recommend so that's a nice little tip that'll help you manage your audio levels make sure everything's all good especially while you're learning because you know some people have like their alerts and they're like insanely loud or insanely low or their microphone's insanely loud or insanely low but they don't have a clue and then you know a lot of people will listen back to their previous streams and like oh my mic is too loud let me lower it down and then they'll do an entire eight hour stream and then their mic is too low and it's like oh and then they're basically trialing an error between every single stream where if you just monitored your audio from the get-go you just know instantly you don't have to wait and watch back i'd recommend checking out recommend checking out i'm gonna add a share stream channel on discord i might i might we obviously have our Facebook group and we made it so people can't share streams in there because it was just getting absolutely an abundance of self-advertisement and random spam and stuff like that. But at least in Discord, we can make a specific channel so it, you know, doesn't dilute everything else. So I might make like, uh, share your stream, share your content. You upload a new YouTube video, post it here, you know? Things like that. So that way we can see what each other is doing. And, you know, like you guys check out all the stuff I upload. So, you know, we have a lot of cool community members here that have started streaming because of ourselves. We started making content. And uh, I, I check you guys out quite regularly because it's cool. Like I give some tips and tricks. Me and Lou were literally sitting in bed the other day. And uh, we were literally watching like one of you guys is streaming. And we were chatting away in it and stuff like that. Chatting some shit for a minute. You know, gave a couple bits of information and then dipped out. But little small things like that can help out. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. It's cool. It's easy. It doesn't take much of my time anyway. All, right, all the way up. I refuse to activate the shovel. I will always climb up here. Fuck this shovel. 
Taking Fuck that back. shovel. Or whatever. It is a shovel, right? Fuck it. I will always climb up. <laughs> I'm probably going to activate the shovel in like 10 minutes, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I might make a, I might make a little uh, share your shit channel. Might be handy. Yeah. Uh, speaking of sharing your shit, Kenneth, thank you for sharing the stream on Facebook. Appreciate, appreciate. Guys, if you're watching the stream on Facebook, hitting that share button is one of the best ways of supporting the channel for free. It costs no money. Share it to your timeline. Share it to a group if you're part of any gaming groups. Share it to your fucking nan. It helps out a lot. Maybe like tag a friend or something. Basically on Facebook, we do a lot of variety. We play a lot of different games. So our channel doesn't really get pushed too much because of that, which I'm fine with. I prefer to play a variety and make different type of content than just play Warzone, 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 Warzone like 99% of the streamers on Facebook. Actual fact, by the way. Um, <laughs> so if you enjoy the content and you like the non-war zone on Facebook, uh, I would appreciate a share. Again, it's pretty much the only way we get new viewers into the stream. So check it out. Speaking of shares and stuff, we have a giveaway live right now. That segment has nothing to do with anything. Just felt like it. If you type in the chat exclamation mark giveaway, there you go. That will give you the info for the giveaway. We have an open giveaway, open for all viewers. $50 cash money. I might do one of these every single month because we do a monthly sub giveaway, which is a next-gen gaming console just for our subs. We do that every single month because it's cool and we can. Uh, but I want to start uh, doing some open giveaways for everyone and anyone. So if you type in the chat, exclamation mark giveaway. If today's your first time in the stream, you can enter in for that giveaway. Literally $50 cash money. Easy. Check it out. Yeah. I was going to do like an Xbox controller or a mouse or a keyboard or something like that. But we'd end up people who play on console. We'd end up people who play on PC. We have people who don't even play games whatsoever. So I was like, you know what? Ow. Oh, he nearly knocked me off the edge. I was like, you know what? Cash money is the best. Because you can't get a prize that you don't want with cash money. You done? You want to aggro me? Bro, that, that bee sting. That fucks up. That shit fucks up. Oh. I've aggroed somebody else. I don't see him. But uh, yeah, check out the giveaway. It's open for all viewers. Just type exclamation mark giveaway in the chat. Miles. So, we need to get up to those termites. And we have our salt charm on right now, which gives us salt damage, believe it or not. Crazy. Skirt. Hey, what's happening, Pablo? Good afternoon. Uh, thanks for adding new epic channel points. Redeem. Oh, wait. Fuck you. I'm never doing it. Ever. Fuck your channel points. <laughs> I, I just literally have no interest in channel points whatsoever. Okay, let's get our salt charm on to increase that damage. Let's see what kind of damage it does against one of these boys. You want some fuck? Punk, punk, punk. Punk, punk. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Yeah, they take a little bit of salt damage. Let's see what we Keep can I didn't get any health regen for blocking against that guy. Fuck are you, man. Fuck are you. Wait, no Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah, we'll give away eight of them. Why not? Why not? Literal fact, everyone playing the same game on Facebook. Like, where's the versatility? Well, that's what pulls the views. So that's what Facebook's algorithm pushes out. Like, Facebook algo cares about what is getting the most retention. And that's Call of Duty. That's Warzone. You know, that's those type of games. So, and then it looks at a game like Grounded. And not that many people are playing Grounded. So Facebook wants to keep you on the platform as long as possible. So... If their, uh, if their algo says, hmm, people who play Warzone, there's significantly more people playing Warzone, and there's significantly more people watching Warzone, so we're going to push Warzone, right? That'd be like you being Apple, and you owning 50 products, and being like, okay, the iPhone sells the most every year. The MacBook sells the second most every year. Um, the Magic Keyboard sells the worst. We're going to push the Magic Keyboard. They're going to push those other things more because that's what sells the most. So when it comes to Facebook, their algo is very aggressive. Uh, I do wish that there was like some featured games. I wish that there was a little bit of variety added into there too to just add to it. But 
think of it from a company point of view if your if you have this product and this is the product that is the most requested why would you not push that product the most right if you think of it like that so it does make sense but at the same time um it's fucking dog shit man <laughs> yeah it's dog shit <laughs> like on paper it makes sense in actuality it's fucking stupid but what you gonna do you know what you gonna do I'm going to just play my games. I'm going to have some fun about it. And I don't really give a fuck. I'm going to do my thing. Because the games that get pushed. They do that. I do my own thing. I have fun with it. Ooh, we got some more pipes down there. So how far up are the termites? Is it literally up in this part of the lab? Or is it here? It's probably a bit of boat, right? I can make that jump, right? Oh, that's a few of them. Oh shit, I'm also sizzling. Uh, I'm dead. I eat this normally. Oh, I'm good. Oh, you guys can jump those gaps too. But can you jump this gap? That's what I taught. You best run, bitch. Those guys are scary, man. Genuinely. Charcoal bag to your right has something in it. Yeah, there's this thing called stream delay. So when you say that thing to your right was like eight seconds ago. So I have to now reverse back where I was eight seconds ago and then go to my right. That's not really going to happen. It doesn't really help. Appreciate you attempting to help, but... You might as well say, it's right there, Amp. That doesn't help me. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is a live stream, but there's still a delay. Because the video feed has to come from my PC to whatever server you watch them from, from them servers, then to you. And then, you know, the distance and your device and, uh, you know, like your actual internet connection, all these things are also variables that can add to it. If you have a really good internet connection and you're not too far away, you get like a three second stream delay, um, but you're probably closer to five to 10 seconds of a stream delay. And it's like going right there doesn't help me. <laughs> it's incredibly useless. <laughs> Appreciate trying to help though, but it just doesn't help me. Nah. More splinters. I imagine I run up here because this is looking like where I get some termites, right? Taking a look around. I had the guess. I would say. Hey guys. I'd say we get some termites over here for some reason. <laughs> hey, Amp, it's over there. Ten seconds ago. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah, you can test how much stream delay you have because we have an on-screen uh, chat. You can just type in the chat and the second it pops up there is how long of a delay you have. So when you type message in the chat, I see it instantly. But the video you're seeing is a few seconds delayed. So again, you can just type in. When you see your message pop on the screen, that's how much delay you have. Simple shit. I hear some science. Science regular near me and there's science in there. Oh, nice. We got a scan area. Do I have anything I need to scan? Nope. Field station discovered. I just walked straight past you and it didn't discover it. All right, let's put this bad boy on so I can jump down. Hello. Just checking real quick. I was a wild termite. Where would I be? Keep the new one. That's a termite soldier, and that's a termite worker. So I imagine the soldiers have some of the stuff that I need. Termites, agents of nature, accelerating the cycle of rot and decay. Yeah, what it said. So I don't know if I could take on two of the. Well, we're gonna find that now. Let's see how strong you guys are. 
Oh. Okay, so that's your damage. Sorry, I'm just trying to be cautious with extra ones coming in. So they spit out some gas. Fuck off. Trying to just learn their attack pattern at the same time too, so I know what I can block. No, oh, now we got a larval to deal with too. A ladybug one. Can't really walk back any further. But I was able to lock him then. Uh, where did the larval go? There's one termite chopper. I believe I need like three of them. Where did the other one go? Did he un aggro? Me little little bitch. Okay, let's find them. So I can definitely take on two of them at a time, but I gotta be very careful. Their AoE attack doesn't really do any damage, it just does like a slow and a weapon slow. <laughs> Yeah, this one here, I can just attack while they're doing this. There we go, get some perfect blocks. Perfect block the last one, does that count for anything? That's just his AoE attack, so I'm gonna just attack through it. Oh my god, man, that trigger rate though. Mm. Bam! 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 Woo. I'm pretty sure there's a termite king. Yes, you would be correct on that. Yeah, I've been told that by a few people now. So they're the bigger boys. So how many of their little uh, pincer thingies do I need to make the item I'm looking for? I need to make you... Oh, two. Uh, I've got the tough gunk. I've got the crow's feathers. So I can make up the item I came down for, but... I was told there's a king. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Watching my stamina. Okay, we got a smaller one and a bigger one. That's his big hit. Come on. Come on. Nailed it. God, I love this weapon, man. Oh, hello. Nailed it. Missed all three of those attacks. Missed every single one of them. God damn it. Gib, gib, gib. So I've definitely got all the termite pieces that I need. Well, that's pretty damn nice and dandy. Um, I still want to take on a bandage right now just to get my health all nice and topped up if possible. Thank you. 
want to get this too. Morning, bro. What's up, Mars? Good afternoon to yourself, dude. Gib, 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 gib. That all them? Cool, cool, cool. I have literally zero plant fiber in my inventory. Let's grab some. So how many termites am I expecting to run into once I'm in here? Like, because that was a lot outside already. You going for the king? I may. I may. Those termites there alone are quite strong, though. Mm, creepy. Taking a look around. I like how eerie these areas are, man. Torch? What's a torch? Never heard of it. Don't need one. Yeah, I'll take this. This is upgrade items. Does increasing my gamma even make a difference in this area? Because it's not technically nighttime. Yeah, it helps a little bit. I'll take all of those. Science. This is a lot easier than lab. Oh. I assume this is going to have to go through the entire thing. The wrench will get you to the end game. It's that strong. It's fucking insane, man. The fact that if you perfect parry with it, it can also trigger it. The fact that it can also trigger stuns and like the AOE, it's uh, pretty ridiculous. I'm not even going to try and melee these guys. They're just really annoying. Try and melee. Well, if you're this close, I will. Thank you. Usually mosquitoes are a pain in the ass to try and melee unless you've got like a big two-handed weapon. So it's literally just parry, three arrows, parry, three arrows. Do that on repeat. You'll get them. That's not so bad. Drink some H2O. I don't know if this is where I'm meant to be exploring or not, but this is where I'm exploring right now. A lot of mosquitoes up here. So I take it the Thermite King is the whole way up at the top? Yeah. If you run past all the termites towards the end of the cave, there's a Thermite King, and that's where you get the wizard staff. And a hat. And a hat. We went through the little cave. There wasn't really much in the cave, unless there's another path where I missed. Uh, but by the looks of it, I have to come outside and make my way up. Man, I hate it when they attack you from behind, even though they charge you out front like that. That attack there hit me from behind. <laughs> Fuck you won't do what you tell me. Give me back my arrows though. Thank you. Click. Mosquitoes are just fucking annoying to deal with, I think. Um, my inventory is quite full. Uh, mosquito beak, farewell, my child. Farewell. Uh, I got enough of them back in the house as it is. Have you been to most of the map yet? I still have so much of the map I've not been to yet, which is super exciting, actually. Ooh. If I jump down there, I can't really go anywhere else from there. Click. Click, 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 click. Thank you. I started this year today, crafted the axe, and was immediately aggroed by a wolf spider. Youngest daughter did not appreciate the brown pants moment. Oh, man, those things are terrifying. I'm only like now, like making them laughable. But like prior to that, man, those things are. No joke, science. See what we can find. Oh, we got some uh, spiderlings over there. Okay, okay. I have an upgrade piece down here too. So if I get that upgrade piece, 
I've got to go back. That was me beeping. I got to go back down. I can climb back up here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I can do a quick little loop around. Upgrade pieces are absolutely worth it. Hello. Click, 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 click. And all them. There's more than one entrance to the termites? Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was like, that can't be just it. I went through a tunnel. I went through the one bang smack in the middle. Yep. Yep. Yeah, good. Good. I want to go up top, though. I want to see what's up here. I don't know if this is the way I need to go to get up to the termite king, but this is where I'm going. I'm in this first to make the jump. Parkour. Hey, I'm, go I'm going up here, man. I don't. Really, I have no idea if this is where I'm meant to be going, but it's where I'm going. Come on, give me some health regen. Thank you. Oh, well, that just triggered lightning. That also just triggered lightning. Give me health regeneration. Come on. Thank you. That one genuinely did trigger health regeneration. Science. Nothing like a little science, as I always say. Thought there might have been something there in there. Right, it's getting night time. No torch needed. It's now somehow brighter. Gamma. Just increase their gamma level. Like the Hulk. Oh, a lot of spiderwebs under the tarp. I hear a big boy up there. But I want that too. He's like right here. I can hear him. Tiptoe through the window. Don't mind me. I'm just going to grab this little toot real quick. in here that's nice is that science is he above me oh great five hundo oh there's another upgrade piece and then you two i don't know if i can even harvest this one yet i'll check though i'm not harvesting these web sacks because who knows what's going to come out of them save the game you save the game It's like, fuck you, Amp. No, you fuck you, Amp. Oh, I can get it. Nice. No matter what type of spider it is, I can kill it. Famous last words. Taking a look around. If it breeds, I can kill it. It's like, Amp, it doesn't breed. It's a fish. Fuck! <laughs> Do fish technically breed? I, I don't know how that works. I know they have gills, and I know that they use, you know, oxygen differently, but, but whatever. Anyway. Um... Bye. Is that everything down here? This is a cool little spot, man. Hi, Mr. Websack. A tier tree websack. Oh, my days. I imagine there's some nice things in there. Sounds like a wolf spider. Let's go fuck it up. Ah. <laughs> yeah, let's go fuck it up if it is. What's this game name? This is Mario Party. Hello, Mr. Spooder. Would you like to come out and play? Okay, so we got some mosquitoes. We got a spider. It is a wolf spot. Oh my god, two of them. Okay, I can kill one at a time. But not both of them at the same time. There's some more of those chili uh, items. Okay, you aggro on it separate? Bring it.
Jump over this way. I can't have you aggro in the other spider. Okay, that's one then. Get them heals. Get those bandages up. Oh, got a mutation. Mitridimist. I, I can read that. Shut up, stream. I don't know what that was. But we got a thing. Um, no, 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 no. What one was that? Oh, that was this one. Uh, oh, poison resist. Yeah, I, I just healed myself with poison. If you take a bandage, that instantly takes your poison off. Some people don't know that. And the poison from them will fuck you up. They genuinely will. You do not want to leave that poison on. You will do a lot of damage. Um, would like to make two additional if I can. Thank you. That gives me three. I got one bit of big food in there. I will have to drink I mean, you as well. Probably what bottled water is. I could have done a little bit better there. A couple of parries that I missed, but not bad. Let's get a little bit of health regen while I'm waiting. Fuck you won't do what you tell me. Bonk. 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 Spicy shards. Bonk. 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 Thank you. Um, need to scan you guys. I need the fibers so I can make up some more. I missed one parry there. I still blocked him, but I missed the parry. Right, that's what wolf spiders then so give us for inventory space i'm going to really only one like spider chunk or am i stacked on another one already let me sort huh i killed two two of them i only got one spider chunk that's interesting i'm gonna just drop that out right well they're the biggest threats then we're good on that have you eaten one of them um good thing i'm hungry yeah, right. I gotta eat 10 for mutation. Did I eat 10 of them? Because we got the charm for it. Let's see. Is there mutation for these ones or am I making that up? Spicy safetyness. There we go. Uh, so I just need to eat... Oh, tier two. We're maxed out. We're good. So we get smash resists and stab resist if we have this up. All stabs and smashes. Cool. Oh. Around. This seems like a nice entrance. But before we do... Thank you. Definitely need some hydration before I go down in there. Bonk. 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 Give me the sap. I can make some, uh, some more bandages out of those. Oh, wait, no. I've only got two of you, so I can't eat. Any other cool interesting stuff around here? Well, hello. Yeah, don't fuck with those wolf spiders. They'll, uh, they'll fuck you up big time. Yeah. There is no joke. Loads of nice upgrade items here. I'm going to use all these, so that's great. Doesn't look like there's anything else along the back. 
Need that tier 3 tool to get that rusted item. I definitely want those. That's what we're currently working on right now. We can now make our tier 3 chopping item, which will then allow us to get the item to make our tier 3 smashing item. Uh, and then I can get all these other items then from that. I want to see what's over by that baseball. I know we have some mosquitoes around this little lake, but I feel like there should be something else. Several days and you haven't used the clover or petals uh, while out dropping them. Uh, they are just a stack that I carry for making bags and stuff. Uh, um, lean twos or whatever, if I want to skip certain night cycles. I always carry like, you know, six of a lot of the things. Uh, so that way I still got a lot of space to pick up additional ones. And then I usually just store them back in my base. Oh, my inventory is so full. I can't even swap to my bow. This is annoying. Because I can't even hit this guy. Okay, I need to get a parry on him and then... Uh... Man, that behind the head attack is fucking bullshit. Come on. My inventory is too full, so I can't equip my bow. Come on, just give me a trigger. Give me a fucking trigger on him. Bring it. I'll throw this at you if I have to. Come on. Not a single trigger. Fuck you. Uh, Got a stack. Good enough. There we go. I can equip my bow. Would have made that a lot easier, but eh. Mosquitoes are just annoying in real life too. Fact. They definitely live up to uh, their standard. Oh, yes. Excellent. Oh, we got some more mints. Gib, gib, gib. Boom. Boom. I'm glad we came over to this corner. Uh, we still have a couple more mosquitoes there. I noticed some signs in the water. I'd prefer to avoid those mosquitoes just because they're more of a nuisance than anything. I don't need any diamonds they drop me right now. Will they aggro me if I'm under the water? I would like the science. 500, nice. I'm going to see if I can just swim underneath them. Stuart, what's happened with yourself, dude? Do, 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 do. Does rust apply any effect to your attacks? Uh, rust is a crafting material. Bonk. Bonk. Let me in. Hello. Fuck you, mints. I have limits. Consume, 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 consume. Bump, bump, bump. Actually, I'm gonna leave these here. I wanna see what happens if I don't fully harvest something, what the respawn rate is like, if that increases the respawn rate. I don't think it will, but I'm just testing. Why is there a glow coming from underneath that? I wanna, oh, you know what? There might be a light underneath the tarp. All right, well, that only leaves one more area for us to go, which is down in that cave. Go check it. Let's go see what's up. I'm down to three bandages with no food in my inventory, so this might be a bad idea, but whatever. Let's see. Really? Hey! You weren't trapped in there for long, were you? Come on. I want him to hit my shield so I get uh, health regen. Come on. No health regen. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, they can drop tough gunk as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're already gammed out of our mind. Loads of splinters up this area of the map. So cool, we can get tough gunk off them. I didn't know that. Bonk, bonk, bonk. 
Come on. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Oi. I am Tor. Bob. God of Thunder. Show me to your king so I can bap him. Termites are aware of your presence. Cool. As they should be. Mm. Bye. So that's a few termites. You want some fuck? That's a big one. But that completely depleted my stamina. That done more damage than I would have liked. Back it up. I've like just passive health regeneration, so I gotta be careful here. Oh, I'm stuck. It wasn't ideal. I'm dead. I'm just trying to get my health regen because I'm literally on zero right now. One hit from him and I'm dead. Ooh. Getting them fucking parries, though. Ooh. You need a termite axe to get to the termite king anyway? Do I? Is this is this where I need to go to get to him? So I have the items to make the termite axe, but I need to go back to my base to do that. Yeah, I need to go back to my base to do that. So I need that to get true to him. That's annoying. Hmm. So is this the point where I need to go to get down to the Termite King? Because I'd, I'd very much like to fuck around with him. What we can do is we can get back to our base so quick. It takes us longer to get here than to get back. So we can go back to our base. We can... I'm going to repair my primary weapon. Uh, I'm going to... We have a lot of really good items that I can store up right now. So that is very nice. Um, we got some upgrade stuff too. That's going to be cool. I think I'll be able to upgrade my armor now because of that. Um, bring some more food to us. Scan up a couple items. I've got two items I need to scan. I can make up that termite axe now. Should be good. Oh yeah, my shield is fucked. Yeah, good call. Yeah, there was a lot of enemies attacking there with a lot of damage. That was... Two wolf spiders, multiple mosquitoes, a lot of termite ants. That was ladybug, larval, um, and who fucking knows what else as we went through all that. That was a lot of stuff. Our shield has taken a B thing, uh, but still pretty good. Still pretty good. All right, let's make our way back. We can get back, as I said, way easier than getting up. Um, I'm going to equip our dandelion so I can just hopefully glide my ass out of here. What are termites weak to? Uh, I believe uh, salt does more damage to them. So that's why I had a salt charm on. Fire damage doesn't really do too much because they're termites, right? They tried in the heat. Ow. I 
I know I'm a picky eater, but still. Make sure my health's on uh, absolute fullness, you know? Funk. At least it's clean. Thank you. I've got two, two slurps in my canteen, but just because I can. I just make my way back. I think that's what it is. Honestly, surprised you didn't die there. I'm a living legend, bro. What do you mean? I don't die. Let's see what we can find. Zero deaths. I'm an Elden Lord. I've completed every alternative ending in Elden Lord. Like every different cutscene. I've done it. All right. Like new game plus eight. Rocking bosses like it's nothing. Like you think a simple child's game like Grounded is going to best me? There's an upgrade item down there. You think that's gonna best me? Child's play. I could play this game with my eyes closed. I just choose not to. I don't wanna, I don't need to prove that I can do that to you. <laughs> that's more upgrades in there. Oh, that's a two. Now, if I get down there, how do I get back up? Fuck you guys. I don't wanna have to deal with those. Those guys do too much damage. And my shield's better be broken. Uh, I can make this, right? Yo. Of course I can. First try. That was closer than I would have liked it to be. <laughs> first try? Easy, dude. So I got bored beating everything first try sometimes, you know? But here we are. Salty is definitely your best bet. Also, try to see if you can upgrade your weapon enough to put Salty on it as well. That helps a lot. Right now, my weapon is currently maxed out. If I want to upgrade my weapon anymore, I need to get globs. And for globs, I need to get a, not a furnace, it's basically a furnace. I need to get an oven. And I believe I get the oven blueprint from up where I just was. I think once I get the, the special key from up there. I think. That or I get it from the black ant science lab. Uh, but yeah, I need to get the oven before I can upgrade my weapon anymore. Yeah, tier five is the most I can have it on, which is what we have. The way instead of getting health regen uh, every so often when you heal with a perfect block, it's on a skeleton under the right side of the hedge uh, under a socket. I've seen a couple skeletons before. Is there actual stuff I can loot off of them? So what? what is this thing, uh, Chibu? So over by the hedge, we've been to the hedge loads of times. It's like the first main lab we went to, minus the oak tree lab, obviously. Um... So what is it and what does it do? Just just so I know if it's worth my while to go get it, yeah. I wanna see what that's about. You get the spicy katana in the coal bag? No, haven't been there yet. Is the coal bag on the skeleton over there too? Because I know where that is. People are telling me that bag right there to your left, amp, but there's stream delay. So when they tell me right there to my left, that was like 10 seconds ago. I don't know where it is now. Every time you power it, it regens your health bar? That's nice. So I take it this is a charm I hold. So I can have a charm on that increases my damage or a charm that keeps my health up. Hmm. The haze lab gives you the oven for burgle. I don't know where the haze lab is. I don't know the labs by name. Obviously the hedge lab, that would make sense, but I don't know what the haze lab is. Like whereabouts is that on the map? Like this is my first week playing this game, so I'm still pretty fresh and still learning a lot. A lot of people were like, it's at the anthill. I'm like, I don't know where the anthill is. <laughs> it's like, I don't know where that is. Parkour. And before I forgot to equip the dandelion. Uh, Haze is in the gas. There's a few different gas areas. Oh, and I think I might know the actual one you're talking about, though. Haze Lab is in the southwest corner of the map. Find the special chip that unlocks this as a purchase option first. Ah. The more you know. <gasps> oh, let's uh, put back down our contrast. Uh, our gamut is no need for it to be this high. Daytime now. This looks nice now. <laughs> you guys make funny noises. So, I would imagine it is... 
This one? Is this the one here? Because this is where all the gas is. All down here. Unless... Unless there's more under there. No, I came out of here, right? Yeah, we've already got that one. Did we? I don't fucking know. So maybe this one. Because all here is gas. And I know you can keep going that way. We can't, I'm pretty sure we came out of here. Huh. Hmm. Let me in! My gamer skin, bro. I'm gonna need a suntan here. Hey, big spooter. Parkour. Hey, little spooter. Might be little, but they're still scary. Yes. Think you need a bomb to get into the lab as well? Yeah, we can make up bombs now. I just gotta go get the eggs for them, which we just get at the, the antil, the red antil or whatever, right? The yellow super chip icon on the gas on the map is the haze lab. Try it. So, that's this one. Did we not come out of here? When we done when we done the lab that was underneath this area, I could have sworn we came out of this room. Could have sworn we came out of it. Eh. Uh, so we need to scan some stuff, we need to store some stuff. Store those. Not enough space for you. Let me take these out. Put all these together. Uh, is there anything in here that I can store? I need to scan you boys. Some more web fiber. Cool, cool, cool. You guys go in there. You go in there. Uh, we can get rid of a few of you guys. I'm probably going to make up some stuff with these actually in a second. These can go upstairs. You can go in there. Uh, you're good. You're good. I need to scan you. You go in. Uh, I'm going to keep you for now. And you guys go in. You need to scan both of these before we do anything with them. Mm hmm. Probably what bottled water is. Good thing I'm hungry. Get those. Let's see. I might need to get some more fibers. Oh, I got a few. Uh, there we go. That gives me five more of them. I'll pop one now. We should have some weevils down here. Let's kill them and cook up their meat. Watch where you stick that nose, weevil. Throw mushrooms on the ground. Weevils will appear. Saves you having to go hunting for them. I'm better be making a weevil trap as well to make it easier to harvest even more weevil meat. But for now, mushrooms on the ground, weevils appear. Easy. And there's more of them. They're just the ones I'm grabbing. I'm working on a better system that I don't know is even going to work. But if it works, that's going to be kind of nice. But I have no idea yet. We'll just have to see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom! Perfecto! Sort. I need to store. I need to fucking trash you. That's what I need to do on that one. Uh, you need to go in here for when I'm making up some more slushies or whatever. I need to repair this. So while you're cooking, let's repair our shield because it is one hit from being gone. Uh, shield, repair. Boom! Thank you. Uh, while I'm here, let's repair you. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, can I do any more upgrades on my armor? You're already five. No, but one sec. Maybe brittle plating. Let's see. Brittle, 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 brittle. Brittle plating. I can make one. 
And you, I can make three. So that's three. That's four. Five to upgrade. There we go. There's our chest. We can choose to do our next upgrade. I want to go sleek to increase that healing, obviously, but we can't do that yet. Yeah, noise. So you're on tier five, you're on tier five, you're on tier five. Cool. Next upgrade, I can pick if I wanted to go sleek or whatever way, but that should be a nice little defense thingy in there. Um, right, our food should be done. That's our primary uh, repaired. That's our shield repaired. That's our armor upgraded. You're tier four, sorry. So I just need, I need five more and I could make our legs tier five as well. Cool. cool. Loads of use. Let's go scan. Now, I might have to go get another dandelion to make the jump back over to where I want to go, but we can do that. Fiber bandage upgrade. ASAP lets you do a bandage for one fiber and one sap. That's pretty nice. That ain't bad. They don't cost that. What's it? What did it cost off the rip anyway? Three and two. One and one is pretty damn good, honestly. That's a great upgrade. Beep. So what do I need to get that? All right, let's scan. I've only got two items to scan. But this should push me over level nine, so I should unlock a good few things with this now. Oh, there's an achievement. So nothing from the head, but because I'm leveling up to 10, we should get uh, some nice things here, I imagine. Uh, I get nothing because I've already learned all the things. So I would have got these items, but I'm better than the game. So here we go. <laughs> Yay, level 10, a huge milestone. I got nothing from it. <laughs> what you gonna do? Have to keep everything nice and clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got one and one. I need a second one to increase my stamina or my healing. And I need a second one from a maximum consumable stack or resource or hours. I'll probably save up for resource stack, actually. Anything here I can purchase? Cookbook for the hedge. Daredevil. Lores. Cookbook sandbox. Sign. Waft meter. No, nothing really new in there that I need. Yeah. Where you get uh, your missions, you can upgrade the three. I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of that now, okay? <laughs> I'm a little bit ahead of that. We're aware of that one now. Ah. So I want to go down to the hedge and see what that charm is that gives me back health on a parry. I want to see how much that stacks up by, because with the ladybug armor, I get health back on blocks. So then if I get health back on blocks from the ladybug armor and health back from perfect parry, and then the next level that I upgrade my ladybug armor by, it also increases my healing. So if that increases both of that healing there, this could be really good health regeneration and survivability. So I'd like to maybe mess around with that a little bit. Uh, is there like termite armor or anything I can make? I didn't see an option for um for that. No. So do I even use the, the termite armor for really anything? Eh. Well, let's make our shovel. Uh, another shovel. Our axe. Do do do. There we go. There is our first tier tree crafted item. Yeah, boy. So uh, that means you are gone. Goodbye. I don't need you anymore. Very nice. What kind of damage does it do? They actually... Oh, am I clicked on the right... Wow, the damage on that is actually really good. It's not bad. All right, so there's our first tier tree axe. So now I can go up and I can get the... Did you see it? Yes, you just watched me do that. Uh, so we can go up... And we can now get the larval items. And then once I get the larval items, I can... Uh, pupa letter, sorry. I can get 
the tier three hammer because I've already got the ox head. I've got all five pieces. And then once I have the hammer, I can then get pine cones, which allow me to make this tick sword, which is insane health regeneration, which I might not use because our current weapon is fucking insane. But I still want to test this out. I still want to make this anyway. Um, but before I make that, I'm probably going to just make the black ox crossbow, which requires rust. So I need that tier three hammer for requires pine cone which i need the tier three hammer for uh, and then I need lint rope which i haven't seen anywhere yet so i'm not sure what the deal with that is but yeah yeah we need that pupa leather so we can now go harvest that and i think we can also now harvest up splinters and maybe something else i'm not 100 percent sure we'll have to we'll have to see on that one uh do, 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 do. Oh, good. Sorry, just checking something really, really quick. That's you. And... Bam. Cool. Sorry, just checking some shit real quickly. So, I want to make my way to the hedge to get that item. Remember the huge glow you were earlier? In that glows, you find easiest lint. Glows. I don't know what a glows is. I'm sorry, dude. I know you're trying to help, but I have no idea what you're telling me. No idea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what a glows is. What the fuck is a glows? I see a lot of people using the Black Widow Fang as a weapon. That thing's crazy fast and strong. I imagine I gotta kill a Black Widow to get that. Unless I've just already unlocked it and I haven't realized. That's smithing. I got the spider fang. I imagine it's just the next level of this. Because there's the larval blade. Then there's the spider fang. And then I imagine I imagine it's the tier three one. Yeah. Sorry, hand flow. My bad. I still have no... What the fuck is a hand flow? <laughs> Master, I'm aware you're trying to be helpful. But most of the words you're typing don't make sense, dude. I'm sorry. You, you're not helpful. And I know you're trying to be helpful, which I really do appreciate. But autocorrect is not your friend. <laughs> I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. No idea. First telling me by a glow. And now you're telling me by a hand flow. Don't know what either of those two things means. It means glove. Nearly there. <laughs> it was nearly there, I guess. your poison thank you thank you all right let's go find this item that i'm looking for down to the hedge i suppose there's a charm there that gives you back health on a parry or maybe even just on a block i'm curious to see how that scales Hello. There we go. Got a little health regen on that block. You're going... You're going dead that side of the hedge up against the house for the badge. Am 
What? Bro, my chat needs to learn how to use fucking autocorrect. Holy shit. Does nobody read their messages before they hit send? You type it out. Your phone suggests it to you. You look at it and then you hit send. You're in no rush to send these messages out. I'm not your crush. You're not responding to me within one millisecond. You can look at your message and verify that it's not gibberish. Why does no one in my chat know how to fucking type a sentence? I'm dyslexic. Do you know how much more difficult it is for me to read your messages? It's hard enough for me to read as it is, let alone read the fucking gobbledygook the half of you fuckers are typing in the chat. Holy shit. Look at your message before you hit send. You're in no time crunch. Take your time. Breaking my fucking brain. Making my life more difficult. Not helping. Genuinely not helping. <laughs> holy shit, man. Like, I appreciate people trying to help, but it's like, holy shit. I can't read your message. It doesn't make sense. Commas, punctuations, actual words. Have you fucking heard of them, bro? <laughs> Like 90% of my chat today and yesterday. What the fuck? Does this game just bring out the fellow dyslexics? Is that what it is? Are just dyslexic people super drawn to this game? Is that what it is? Because I got no fucking idea what anyone's trying to tell me. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Come on. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bye. I've already looted you. That's where you originally go up, I believe. Little do you know, you are my crush. <laughs> nice. Nice. We do the typing good. Yeah, it just hurts my fucking brain. It's like, look at your message before you hit send. Pretty simple. Like, mobile device. And if you're really struggling to type, phones have dictation now. You can press a button and just talk, and it will just fucking fully work. Genuinely. Some motherfuckers in the stream chat need to start using dictation. That's the little speaker button beside your chat. You press that and it will just turn your voice into text. Probably significantly more accurate and it will literally add punctuations and full stops because a lot of people don't understand how they work, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but can I phone a friend to talk for me? Oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so can we just get to this nice and simple? Where is the charm I'm looking for? I am by the hedge. Can we get some simple information here? Or is it easier for me to just tab out of my chat, just minus my chat and just Google it myself? Right now across our three platforms, we have just under 200 live viewers. That's across YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. I think... Between 200 of us, we can figure that out. Just maybe. Just maybe. How come the adult orbs don't poison, but the juniors do? Um, uh, racism. Racism. I told you, we have over 200 people trying to tell me. I can't read every message, buddy. Wish I could, but I can't. Do you fucking mind? Bump, bump, bump. Oh, look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Ah, he deserves to live today. Harry Potter. Good friend. Under the outcat. Let's 
see what we can find. Hmm. Have I just found the void? What is this? What is this? Do, 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 do. That's an outlet. I was just under it. I didn't see anything. Come here, big boy. Bah. Bah. Bonk, bonk. Outlet. Underneath it. Here's a larval. There's a pipe. I run around the pipe. Nothing. On the pipe. Nothing. I am literally under the outlet. I'm not seeing a chest. Not a chest. I'm looking for a skeleton. I've been looking for a chest. Is there? Was there a fucking skeleton here that I didn't see? We get a journal. Thank you. We get whatever they wear, and we get a compliance badge. We get a parry heal. Oh shit. Bump, bump, bump. Fuck you. Is there? Ah. Bah, bah. Come here. Come here. Let me boop you. Bah. That's what you get, boy. Okay, so. I imagine this is a charm I gotta put on, right? So. Reduces your resistance to taking damage. So, does that mean I take more damage or does that mean I take less damage? And then we get. Parry healing. Perfect blocks heal you. I wonder by how much. Minus damage resist. Well, more damage resist is good. So minus damage resist means I take more. Reduces your resistance to taking damage. So I take more damage, but I get heal. So how much more damage do I take is the question. Game. Hello. I'm pressing escape. Let, let me out. There we go. I'm stuck on that screen for some reason. So, let's find the enemy and let them hit us a little bit and see how much more damage we take. See if the extra damage is worth the heal. And let's see how much we get healed by as well. Have I killed every single larval? Nice. So, let, let, let me just get hit here. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, an instant heal. Wow. Okay, so that's about as much damage as does. So let's take it off and see how much damage I take per hit right now. So I have a, I have a heal on right now, so I'm just waiting for this heal to run off. Okay. Okay, so that's how much damage I take. Give me again. A little bit. Not that much. I only take a little bit more damage. Like one perfect block gets me back all the all the damage that he done. And then when I block because of the ladybug armor on, I also just get health regen from that. So right there, I got an instant heal for perfect parrying. And then I also got a heal for my ladybug armor set, which triggers over time. Sometimes my weapon just does that. Hmm. 
So the amount of damage I take isn't really that much more. It's it's like probably take like 5% more damage, maybe 10. Stop playing with your food, I'm testing. These guys are very fast attackers. So this is a good little test as well to see. Normal larval, they don't do that much damage at this stage of the game, but they're fast, they're quick. You can perfect parry them regularly. You can pr pretty much perfectly parry anything. Like these guys are fast when they do it. But uh, yeah, okay, okay. So once I upgrade my armor one more stage, I can actually make each piece of my armor increase my healing. So that means my heal over time for me just blocking will be increased. And then that instant heal will also be more too. Hmm. Mine heals half my bar? Shit, man. What did you use to upgrade even more? Wait till your ladybug armor is making it better and use a milk molar upgrade on healing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've increased. I've... I've used one of the milk molars to increase my healing by like 15%. I didn't know if that scaled with that type of healing as well, but it does. It was kind of hard for me to test because the only healing I had was a heal over time. Ooh. That's quite filthy, actually. Hmm. Yeah, this is also true, Luke. I want to see like um, a specific damage number. So... Fuck off, mites. So, one of these guys with a direct hit will hit for a lot more. Hey, excuse me. Bonk. Bonk. I want to let one of these guys hit me directly to see how much damage I take. Because their, ha their hits hit for a decent amount. So we're going to take this off. And see how much damage a direct hit from one of these guys does to me. I'm not going to block it. Okay, they didn't directly hit me. Need that direct hit. I don't want to see that AoE damage. Come on. No, no, you're, you're, you're a little range ball. Here we go. He fucking missed. I was standing still. I need to keep my distance. That way he'll use his range attack. Okay. That was with it ticking once with me standing on it as well. I'd say about 10% more damage is what I take by the looks of it. Ow. I cannot be standing in that, man. That shit's gonna fuck me up. Hmm. I eat this normally. Oh, that's what happens if you stand too close to them. I've always fought these guys at range. I want to see what happened if we, um... Oh my god, can you fuck off? Doing some damage with that thing. See, I'd say it's about a 10% damage increase. But that heal, I'm going to be able to make that heal stack up way more. The 10% damage I'm going to take, I'll be able to easily negate with one perfect block. That's really nice. Yeah, I wanna I wanna fuck around with that a little bit. Try and make a super heal sustainable build. I need to go get some water, man. The 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 water out of my canteen was just a slurp juice. Hey Mr. Ant. Ah. Bang! It's <laughs> pretty nice. So I got an instant heal and I got a heal over time for just parrying him once. And then because of one of the mutations I have on for beating the um, assistant manager, uh, every now and again when I block, I get a... Uh, I just so get a big electrical blast hit, which does a lot of damage. So we're making like a super survival high damage output kind of blocking build right now. Interesting. Wasn't the route I was thinking about, but... Seems pretty insanely good. Seems really good. Give me that. Hmm. A little too high. Especially the fact that our mutations... Not mutations. Our, um... Extra bonuses we get from our milk molars and our mega milk molars will also stack towards it. 
Hmm. Have you climbed the hedge yet? Yeah, we've already done all the stuff in the hedge. We were just going back over there because we missed out on that item. There, there might be one or two other things that I've missed in that area, but like, for the most part, we, sh we should be good. So yeah, I blocked, got a little chunk of health back, and now I'm getting just a heal over time. And I just killed him for blocking. Ah. So I was a little over half health. I perfect parry twice, and now I'm better be full health. I forgot I put you here. Like, that's... That's pretty insane, man. Oh, what is the duration on you guys like? Ah, hey, you're all right. I can carry two more. I don't have anything I need to scan, do I? Nope. Come here. The wolf spider's out. those parries that there we go dude his poison does so much damage there we go come on come on bonk bonk I could have done better there. I, I missed like a whole combo of parries. Just like all three in a row. I just missed, just missed, just missed. That was very unfortunate. I had to eat like two bits of food. Ideally wanted to eat zero bits of food just to see. And I stood there. At the, I could have killed him, but I purposely wanted to try parry to get a little more health there at the end. Just for testing. Yeah. Let's see. Let's cook some of this stuff up here. The sword from the charcoal bag kills the wolf spider in eight hits. Eight hits. Wow. Is it two hand or one hand? Like eight hits is still insane. That's not anything to, you know, like. Bow your head. That's that's some hardcore shit right there. It is two-handed, kind of. What I assumed, yeah, for it to do that much damage. That's sick, though. Woo. We're going back up that direction. Let's not let me miss it this time, because I've been in the area, but I've not looted it. I've not looted it. Uh, you go in here. So we have all of our extra charms. We have the Rotten Charm. We have the Hot ch Charm and the Shiny Salt Charm. But I'm going to put on the charm that lets me heal on a perfect parry. It also makes me take a little bit more damage. But that, uh, that perfect is too tempting to pass up. Uh, boom, boom. Put you guys in, put you guys in, in you go. I never stored up this termite stuff. I carried that the whole time with me. Whoopsie. Uh, there. You're good, you're good. You know what? You're right about the cloverleaf. 
I literally never use it. I never make a lean to wall rat in the world. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Seem pretty good. Sprig, you and fiber. Do I even use the sprigs while I'm out in the wild as well? No, let's sort them up. Let's just keep some stuff to make. Should I keep plant fiber and sap in my inventory? Or should I just make up a load of fiber bandages to have? Should I just always stack up on more of them? I'm trying to figure out the best way to utilize my inventory. Like, what stuff do I even need pebbles for anymore? Because I could just pick them up as I need them. Cook more food? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for some more uh, weevils to spawn then underneath us. I can hear them right now. And let's see... Do I have anything for you to upgrade right now? Brittle plating. Let's see. I might have some stuff for you now. That is this one. No, I need some more grub hides for the next upgrade. And then after that, it's you. Can get this going on. That's two. Your two as well. If I can upgrade this once, I can increase my healing by quite a bit. By quite a bit. Two stack bandages versus one stack and two part stack. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, right? Like, because the reason I was carrying those other things with me was in case I need to make a lean two while I was in the world to sleep during nighttime. But that's when nighttime was a lot more scary. Now I have no problem traveling at nighttime. I genuinely don't care. It's absolutely fine. Um... Having the extra fibers and stuff in inventory is in case you need to make more bandages, but why not just have more bandages already? Because I can stack up 10 or 15 of them in one go. Why not just stack them up to the max and then just pick up the extra resources while I need it? One stack as opposed to three stacks. Because it's still going to be the fiber bandages and the two items for them. Now, is there anything else I'm thinking about why I need to have any pebbles in my inventory? Because I was carrying them to repair some of my tools. But they were a tier one tools, which required like one pebble to repair. But I don't remember having to repair anything with a pebble in quite some time now. So I don't even get any benefit out of that, do I? I think we're at a stage where we don't even have to anymore. Yeah. I like bandages and something to repair your shield with just in case. Oh yeah, that's smart with the shield one, actually, maybe. I need to go kill a lot more black ants. I'm actually nearly out. Um, yeah. We'll repair you now. I know it's not even half. I'm going to just repair it now. But I do need to kill some more black ants. Yeah, very true. We will store all you guys up. Store you. Store you. I'm just going to make up whatever ones I can. I can make up an additional tree. That's six. Let's go get some plant fiber. So that way I can make up some more. Uh, I'm going to make up whatever the max stack is. I don't know if I can carry ten. Or if I can carry... Uh, 15. I forget what our current maximum is on. Yeah, let's do a little choppy chop. Oh, nice. Do, do, do. And get that stamina back. Don't want shield breaking in the middle of a fight. No, not at all. Uh, we're definitely doing a heavy, like, tank tanking kind of build right now we have a lot of defense we have a lot of instant damage burst we have a lot of uh defenses to go with that tank build then so we're getting a lot of health generation for blocking we're doing damage output for blocking we're getting instant health we're getting health regeneration you know we're getting a combo of health regeneration should i say so i you know having my shield there is huge i don't need my shield to block like i can i can block without a shield like, if I have a two-handed weapon on, I, I can just block with two-handed weapon. But having that shield just gives me a lot more defense. Because you can perfect block with anything. So if I'm to just block with a sword, it's not going to be as effective. Or if I'm to block with um, with my shield, it'll be a lot more effective. Takes less stamina, reduces the damage by a lot more. It's just overall better. I won't break my guard. Um, oh, that's a clover. I don't need clover. Um, but... Where if I have a sword, I can still perfect block. I can still perfect parry. I'll still get the health regeneration from it. So maybe we, maybe we try something like that as well. I want to check out that sword you guys are telling me about. 
see if I like it better than this bad boy. Because this weapon here is insane. It's so good. I just want a fiver from McDonald's. I seen an article the other day that a man got a fine. Have you guys heard about this? A man got a fine for visiting his local McDonald's too many times in the same day. That's crazy. Has anybody seen this? Absolutely insane. Like, good shit Mickey D's for trying to counteract, like, you know, obesity and bad eating and all that kind of stuff. But, like, giving someone a fine. Can I one-hit kill you guys with this? No. Still got a two. Oh, I want to kill that one. Get some more food. Cook it up. That'll give me five. And we're good there on that. Nice. Yeah, crazy. But, sweet. Five quid. Can't go wrong. <laughs> So oh, let's go, let's go. Bonk, bonk. Thank you, Mr. Weevil. Bye, Mr. Weevil. Murphy's Law says you'll probably need one of those items next time. Obviously, right? Obviously. I drop it. I'm like, I never need it. I'm going to instantly need every one of those items I'm not going to be carrying now. <laughs> There's five. There's another ten. And the max I can carry is ten at a time right now. Okay, cool. Just... Just so we know, I wasn't sure what my maximum stack amount was. Store you up, store you up. Um, I'll just bring a stack of 10. I can upgrade this to 15, but not right now, obviously. And uh, I do want to go back down and see how many uh, molars and mega molars I have, because I did get one or two more while we were out. So we're going to cook those up, and we're going to go make a move. Oh, yeah. And I... I definitely want to upgrade our armor. I need to get some more of these. But for now, I can still upgrade these ones. So this gives me 5% more defense and durability instead of 10%. But I get increased healing. Taking the sleek upgrade locks this item into that type. Yes. What's the next upgrade do? Does it increase healing even more? Increase healing? I'm not sure if that does even more or not. But Sleek. I need to upgrade this, and then I can add that to it. But our armor now does an additional 5%, but also does increased healing, which should affect our heal over time. All of our healing that we do from our bandages and food, and my heal from my perfect blocks as well. So does it say here? Increased healing. Increase the amount of all healing you receive from all sources times 2. So once I upgrade my legs once, I can then make them also increase my healing even more. My ladybug armor makes me heal for blocking. My charm gives me an instant heal for perfect blocking. Um, and honestly, with those two, that's a lot of healing. And then we have some other uh, mutations. And uh, not mutation stuff. We also have some of the molar stuff that increases our overall healing too. So I want to check out, see if I have another upgrade on one of them. Mm-hmm. How do you get a fine for spending too much money at one place? Yeah, at the same time, it's like, that's that's crazy. You obviously want people to come to your place as much as possible. Returning customers is definitely what you strive on. So it's like, definitely a weird one. Yeah, definitely a weird one. They have a parking limit and you can return back for like half an hour or something. Crazy. There's actually a jar in the upper yard with five milk molars on it. If you want some quick upgrades. Really? Are you sure these are milk molars and not just mints? Because there's containers with mints in them. Okay, so I got one of you. Yeah, here's healing. So if I can get one more, I'll increase my healing by 15%. I would like that. And then for you... Max consumable stack. If I get one more, I can increase this up to 15, which I'd like to do next. So... I get one Mega Milk Molar, I instantly get to do an upgrade. I get one Milk Molar, I instantly get to do an upgrade too. Healing by an additional 15%. White or gold? I need one of each. One of each, ideally. Yeah. For my healing, just one of the smaller ones. The white ones. For max capacity, gold ones. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So I need to find some grubs to upgrade my legs. That's what I need to now. Hey, Evan, what's happening, Carl? Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's literally a jar of teeth. Ooh, wow. It's just like a big upgrade area. That's cool. First, let me see if I can find me some grubs around here. 
Do I see or hear any movement? We usually get a few around. I need five of their grub hides. There's usually a few around here. Which is really nice. I need to grab my food as well. How's it going? It's going good, baby. We're making lots of progress. Character is getting beefy. Our damage output is getting huge. Our survivability is getting huge. We just walked up on two wolf spiders and beat them to death like it was nothing earlier on. Okay, well, maybe not like it was nothing. Still had to sweat a little bit, but yeah, man. We're getting there. And we're just improving our character more and more because the areas we're getting up to are getting, well, more and more. Here's Let's one. Let's see what we can find. Bonk. So there is one grub hide. There is two. Oh, wait, he dropped, he dropped three. I just need one more. Wow, that guy dropped three in one go. Thank you, my sir. I just need one more grub hide and uh, I can increase my legs twice. Oh, I was just a shine off you. I was a wild grub. Where would I be? That's not so bad. Grub, grub, grub. And you need for speed or just drop the guy? Need for speed trailer. Oh, nice. That's coming out pretty soon. Yeah, that's not a long wait. I think it looks really sick, actually. I think it looks really sick. I think I think it'll be a good relaunch for a franchise, honestly. All right, I'm going to be checking that shit out. Day of launch. Hey, ladybug. Any more grubs? Looking for the little in the ground. Also, let's put our gamma back down. Looks disgusting. Ah, much nicer colors. Boom. Beep. There we go. And he actually dropped me two. I only needed one. Right, that will allow me to upgrade my legs to tier five, which then needs a different resource to upgrade to tier six. But then that gives me ability to have my full set of armor all be sleek, which all increases my healing. Mm-hmm. And I'm curious to see how much of an increase that gives us. Don't forget the skeleton in the barbecue area. Oh, yeah, we couldn't actually get to him before. But yeah, now we definitely can. Yeah, yeah, we can just throw on uh, our mutation that gives us sizzle protection and that will be enough to just loot him real quick to see what he has. But then there's a bag, supposedly, by the charcoal area that has an insane sword in it that I've been told that I would very much like to check out as well. Because why not, right? Uh, do, 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 do. Let me make sure I'm making the right one before I craft it. I need brittle plating. I need more sap. <laughs> yeah, I just need some more sap. <laughs> That's funny. I use up all my sap making my bandages. Like, how am I out of sap? I should have loads. I was making loads of bandages now, wasn't I? Yeah, I'll use a couple bits and I can make the fifth and final one. Click. So just go into the upper yard and stick next to the wall. Keep following it adjacent to the lake and you'll come across a blue lid in the dirt. Just under it, there's like five mil more. Shit, man. So, from... So, like, upper yard. I've actually been up here before. So, I believe this is as... I've been... I've been to here. This is as far as I've went on the wall. I never actually went into this area. So, this is following the wall along. So, from... Let's say from right here. Where from here? Up, down, left, right. Just to make it easy. Because I'm bad. I've upgraded my bow. I have upgraded my bow a few times, but I'm about to be getting a new bow, like, very, very soon. So I'm not going to upgrade my bow anymore. I believe my bow is currently on tier 4 or 5 right now, um, which is the max I want it to be upgraded to, because I'll be getting something else. Left from here, so just follow along the wall, yeah? You can make a sap collector as well. I need to do that. I really do. So let's move left this much. More left or back right? Sorry, it's really hard to, like, give directions through a text chat during a live stream. So I do appreciate the people trying to help, especially because I'm a fucking idiot and I'm really bad at taking directions. Yeah. 
But with that being said, don't forget, we do indeed have a giveaway going on right now. It's open for all viewers of the stream. Just type in the chat, exclamation mark, giveaway. $50, just cash money, just like that. You don't need to be a sub, none of that shit. Just basically check out my socials. Uh, exclamation mark, giveaway. You'll get the info you need, yeah. Not sure the exact location, I just know it's a blue lid in the dirt area right next to the wall. Okay, so just somewhere along this area. So just follow along the wall, right? Yeah, just somewhere along this wall. Cool. We can get, we've already been there. We can definitely go back. I'll be looking out for a blue lid area. Pop that bad boy open and I'll get a few in there. Thank you very much for that information, baby. That'll help out a lot. So after we do the termite stuff, I guess we'll follow the wall along that way. And uh, we'll see if we can find it, hopefully. I'm not going to spend a ton of time searching for it, but like, I'll give it, a f you know, I'll give it a good look still. And there we go. That should be right. And boom. And I would like to upgrade you for increased healing. That's her locked in. So if I want to upgrade you more, cost four now. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, I already have the I already have the stuff to increase it even more. We get up to the Supreme. I didn't think I had the material for that. Okay. This is already level nine. 40% defense, 40% durability, and increased healing. I don't know if that increased healing increases every time or not, but it displays it here on the enhanced effect, so I imagine it does. So, sturdy platen. Do I have... Can I craft any more of those? Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Sturdy platen. And then, need some more supreme for you, which I think I need a furnace for, right? Yeah, I don't even have the option for you yet. Mighty Glob is for my weapon. That's for Sturdy. You can make Mighty Glob. 30 Whetstone. And you are Supreme Plating. I've got one and three more. So you're level 9, you're level 8, and you're level 7. I need Supreme Plating for you also. And then need just one more Supreme Plating for you. So I'll bring you up to 9. Uh, up to 8. So I'll have 8, 8, and 8. Okay, so if I get one more Supreme Plating... I can have this also level 8 as well. Ooh. Uh, ladybugs defaultly are not hostile to you unless you attack them. The only mobs that stop being hostile to you if you have their armor set on is the red ants. So, uh, let's see how much healing I can get. Oh, I need to grab my food, right? I'm very curious to see my defense and my healing now. Your heals are about to be nice as fuck. I hope so. In before, we cranked our heal so much. I heal so high that the game can't register it. And instead of healing me, I lose health. <laughs> and then once we get one more milk molar, I can increase my healing by an additional 15% from all sources. So that will affect all this too, I would imagine. Go find something to hit. We still have some more upgrades we can do. But we've increased our armor by a lot. So we've already just got way more defense. We're taking a lot less damage straight out of the gate like that. And we've increased our healing, which means we're surviving way more. So we're double surviving even more. I've not increased my damage I put in any way, though. We're quite strong on damage right now, which is really nice. Uh, but I need to get the oven to increase my damage anymore. What? Ooh. That hit me, bro. Oh, look how little damage he's doing. I just fully healed from one parry. Bap. It's like, oh, sorry. I'm just going to upload a TikTok real quick. Oh, am I being attacked by, like, the second biggest spider in the game? Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. Let's out a dick pic real quick. 
Okay. Oh, is that spider still attacking me? Oh. Oh my god, look how much I healed for A block. The god of this game now. Hello, power. Nothing aunt. can beat me. And I want to point out we're currently taking increased damage with this item on. If I take you off. Look how little damage that's doing. Honestly, even with that on, that's barely even distinguishable. So if I just block and not parry, I want to see does my heal over time get increased. There it is. So how much is that healing me by? Kill you, get you out of the way. So there's my heal over time ticking away. That's nice. So the amount it, it heals by still seems like it's the same, but it's ticking more regularly. So yeah, my perfect parries, I get a big chunk of health back. I, I parried that guy twice and I was full health from like half. Two parries, that was it. Hey. Oi. What's up? Look how little damage it's doing. I want to get to half health and then uh, see what it takes. The passive heals seem to be more consistent. Now, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting a big chunk from the heals, but it looks like it's a lot more regular. Instead of being like, heal, heal. It's like, heal, 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 heal. Absolutely. Okay, and... There's perfect parry. Come here. Come on. Ah, I missed perfect parry there on that one. I still got a heal for it, though. That's nice. That one heals for a lot, so can I get, like, critical heals? Man, our passive heal is coming in really clutch there now as well. I was like, when did I get all these? Yeah, I forgot I had these in my inventory. Uh... Oh, I don't want to have these in my inventory. I need to drop these back. When I've done the upgrades, it went straight into my inventory. Um, so yeah, our character is a walking fucking tank. Nice. And we're not done. We can still increase it by more. So once I get one more of those supreme plates, I increase my legs, which will increase my defense, my durability, and my healing. Once I get one more milk molar, that's 15% more healing from everything. Then a few more things on top of it as well. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, and let me see. I need to just drop some stuff off in here that we just do not need. Uh, in you go, in you go. In you go upstairs. Uh, you can be jerkified. In, in. Yeah, turn you into jerky. Put you upstairs. I, I need to get some more arrows. That's something I need to do. King Kong ink off shit on me. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed, man. At least it's clean. Ish. Mushroom, yeah, mushroom, 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 bum, bum, bum. I'm just going to take these mushrooms because I need to plant more on these, right?
Oh, and then when some more grow, I need to place it on you. Cool, 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 cool. I got six bit of food, which I honestly just might be fine for now. Just find an enemy and parry them a couple of times and I'm going to be full health. Um, I might just need to bring, like, jerky with me for my hunger from now on. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, no one likes a nosy neighbor. Let's go see how we hang against some of the bigger, stronger enemies as well, though. Let's see how consistent their survivability will be. <laughs> but yeah, we basically have all our armor up to, like, tier 8 right now. Our weapon is tier 5. I need to get the oven to increase my damage on my weapon, but the damage is still insane on this thing. With that critical ability that triggers, beautiful. My passive health regeneration and my instant health regeneration is sick as well. Like, I got bandages in my inventory. I might not even need to carry bandages anymore. Now, there will still be situations where I'll still want them, obviously. Um, but... Ooh, is it Termite King time? I think it is. We needed a tier 3 chopping tool to take him on. And, well, we got one now, so... Yeah, it just might be. It just might be. What do we do to make this uh, tanky build? So, Ladybug Armor... Once you upgrade a past tier 5, you have an option to go sturdy or sleek. Sturdy armor gives you more defensive stats. This sleek one or whatever it was called gives you a, still gives you more defense and more durability, but not as much. But it gives you increased healing. And if you have a full set of ladybug armor, when you block, you sometimes just get a passive health regeneration. Just slow health that recovers over a little bit of time. Uh, we now have this new charm called um, the Compliance Badge, which makes you take a little bit more damage from just Eagle Eye. In it. I'd say about 10% more damage from all sources. But when you do a perfect parry, you get back instant health regeneration. And that will scale. So the armor that we've upgraded gives me more healing. Um, as well as giving me healing. And then a couple of things like all, all those things in conjunction in there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's getting pretty ridiculous. And because our armor is stacked up so much, we take very low damage. Because Ladybug armor is heavy armor. So we're not taking that much damage right now. And then just blocking, I get passive health regeneration. Perfect blocking, instant health regeneration. And they can both trigger at the same time. So if I just have an enemy and I perfectly parry him, I can get slow health and instant health. And they will just trigger at the same time going. It's We're building up there, but we can still push it even more. I need one more milk molar. We should be able to find a few uh, up on the wall. Um, courtesy of one of our viewers in there. Uh, so that will help us get that upgrade, which will increase my healing by even more. Once I get one more Supreme Plate, I can increase my legs, because right now my helmet and chest are level 8, and my legs are level 7. So I want to upgrade my legs next, and that will give me more defense and more healing overall. So that'd be really nice too. Bah, bah. But let's see. So I just took damage from this guy. I'm going to try perfectly parry him, and we're going to see how much health we get back. So I missed the first one, he hit me, and I'm full health already. I'm gonna let him hit me here. So I'm still just getting health regeneration back from those previous hits. I'm not even gonna block. I'm gonna let him just hit me here. So I'm just getting health back right now. So it stopped. I'm getting health back. That wasn't a perfect parry, but that still triggered my utter healing uh, ability. And that was a perfect parry. You see, I got instant health back. So if I do a perfect parry, I always get an instant chunk of health. And if I just do a normal block, I will just get health regen. But yeah, uh, stupid right now. So stupid. We literally walked up to an orb weaver spider and stood there, didn't attack him once, let him hit us as much as he could, and then we basically just like two shot him and we were full health at the end of it. You know what we've not tested against though? Taking a a look bigger around. spider. <laughs> That poison, though. Poison. 
Come on. Come on. We're just out healing his poison. Wolf Spider's poison is insane. And I'm not even like parrying very well here. I'm doing really bad. Come on. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Come on. fucking den dude uh so yeah that was probably the worst i've ever done against the wolf spider pretty perfect pretty perfect shit what was my last save Did i have an auto save beforehand like four six minutes ago we're good <laughs> gonna be honest I done really bad there. That was... I, I parried like two things. I genuinely parried like two things. I done atrocious there. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Cool. We're literally right before we left. We're good. I'm going to retry this again. Except for... I'm just going to try kill them. Hello? Sometimes you'll just randomly spawn in when you're in here. I've also not been true here yet. You guys gonna spawn in on me? Maybe if I turn my back and walk backwards. Hmm, no. Those aphids look like they have things to do and people to see. Called it? That was atrocious by me. I over-focused what I was trying to do and just completely, like, true. But, um, yeah, I spent too much time trying to focus on letting him hit me so that way I could perfect parry and then I missed the perfect parry and then I spent too much time paying attention to my stamina and I was like... I should have I just fought it like normal. Like, 100%. I was trying to make sure all these other things were happening, and I made it just more difficult on myself as I clearly died. <laughs> Bot moves, bro. How do you build a bomb? Same way you just craft items in the game. How do you craft items in the game? You make them with resources. Same thing. I believe you unlock the bomb uh, recipe after you get the first super chip. I think. I think. I believe that's when I got it, at least, anyway. Pride cometh before the fall. Yeah, I absolutely uh, did not showcase how uh, strong we are right now. Absolutely uh, butchered that one, didn't I? Which, honestly, is funnier. I think that's honestly funnier. <laughs> yeah, I made the fight go on for too long. The actual direct hits from the wolf spider don't actually do that much damage to me, but his poison ticks down and because i was missing every perfect parry he just fucked me up man because of that i should have just beat him down All right 100 <laughs> what's the goal of this game is it an mmo uh tink minecraft yeah t tink minecraft that's probably the best way of explaining it But there you go. There's a more better example 
Uh, walked up a Norb Weaver, hit me about twice. Um, I'm full health and I'm still regenerating health and I just beat his booty down like it was nothing. But yeah, this is like um, an open world survival, but the entire world that you have to work on is a back garden. It's actually quite bigger than you might think. So you have a map to play on. And ideally, you've been shrunken down and you're in the back garden and survive. You can craft bases, kind of things like Minecraft, create tools, there's durabilities, you can upgrade stuff, there's enemies, there's boss fights. Uh, there is a bit of a quest line, but it's not really that important. It's kind of just there to be there. Um, yeah. Two orb weavers at once. Said to be impossible. They said it could never be done. Three orb weavers at once. They said literally impossible. Come on, stamina. Still full health, by the way. Keep the HP. <laughs> what? What? That's. Hey. Come here. Come on. say four at once but three at once and then an instant one straight away after and peep the hp full health i didn't use a single healing item i didn't use a single bandage i didn't eat a single bit of food nothing i'm gonna eat a bit of food now just for hunger purposes surprisingly not terrible insane in fucking sane we have powered up our character survivability so much today and, our, and we haven't really like sacrificed like damage output for it either we are still very strong if i want to upgrade this weapon more i need to get an oven once i get an oven i can push this weapon's damage way higher than it already is like the second i get an oven 10 percent increase in this weapon's damage and that also increases the 10 percent damage on the electricity of it too which is quite nice just imagine not even max level yeah we're still i can still upgrade my armor even more which negates my uh, my damage by more and gives me more healing uh, i can increase my weapon by more which obviously increases my damage increases my stun increases that lightning damage as well um and then you know there's probably some other things i can get too which is just pretty damn nice give me a mr mosquito give me a heal here we go so I blocked, that gave me an instant heal, and also triggered my heal over time. So the heal over time... Oh, one sec, let me check this out. <laughs> that's cool shit, man. That was a, that was a mutation we have on for beating the uh, assistant manager, dude. So for beating him, you unlock a unique mutation, which uh, gives you... Uh, a free lightning attack after, like, blocking every now and again. It's just random whenever you get it. <laughs> Full health, thank you. 
So yeah, if I need to heal, I could just go up, find the random ant, and just parry him like twice. And be full health. And it's like, cool, thanks. And we can push it even more. And I, I plan on pushing it even more because I want to. I want to see how far we can make our character, like, survive. I think Brood Mother is going to have to be required very soon as well. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go fight a Brood Mother soon. Which is a big ass motherfucker. Hey, you watch yourself. Don't attack me while I'm up here. Bump, bump. Don't knock me off. Hey, thank you. We got to see. So I streamer last night when upgrading uh, Antillian Sword, four hit a wolf spider. There's also 92% complete in the game. Damn. I, I have the option to craft that sword. I have, uh, I've got the great sword right here. Yeah, this has a lot of damage. This is a big boy. I imagine, and this is not upgraded. So I could imagine it fully upgraded and thrown on with some nice, um, nice perks as well. You could probably, fuck. Yeah, we got to go to that charcoal bag. I want to, I want to check out that sword that you guys keep telling me about. I want to see if it works out better than, um, than that, uh, antline sword max out because i can craft that sword right now and i can upgrade it quite a few ranks instantly if i feel like it like i might be able to get perks on it i might i'm not 100 sure but i think i can so i wonder if that's more worth my time or going off and getting this flame sword which already has flame on it, obviously the charcoal one or whatever Parkour. So yeah, let's go find where this bag is. I will need some instructions on this one. So we're going to be getting over there like now in two seconds. Parkour. You need charcoal pieces to build it? The... the That line great sword? No, we only need these pieces. We have all these pieces for it. Hey, Mr. Bees, I'm gonna actually equip my dandelion now so I can obviously make the eat. Ooh, I hope that's enough durability on my dandelion to make the distance I need to make. To build the charcoal sword? I thought I'd just pick it up. I thought it was just part of um I thought it was just part of uh whatever it is I'm better pick up in the bag, no? We're about to have our tier 3 um, pummeling weapon soon. Back off! Do, 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 do. Off we go. It's a recipe. Oh, I got a recipe for Oh, I thought the actual sword was there. Okay, so I get the recipe for it here. Cool, so we can go over, get that from the bag, get the recipe... Do the stuff at the ant hill, I deter my hill. Um, I can then go off and get the pupa letter, which will allow me to get my tier three pummeling weapon, and then I can get the charcoal and then make that sword and check out how ridiculous it is. I don't know if I might want to keep upgrading it. This thing is sick. The AoE damage, how often it triggers, the electrical damage, it's pretty fun. But that sword's even better than why not? Yeet! Be enough, be enough, be enough, be enough, be enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I have enough hang time? Well, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine, look at that. We're good. Are they okay, baby? I'm fine. Let's put that bad boy back on. I'm fine. Stop stressing, stream. Calm down. But I'm boo is you. Shut up. Shut up. When you start this world, I've been playing this game for uh, about a week now. I've never played the beta, nothing. I knew nothing about the game. We just kind of went into it and started rocking. So I'm still pretty fresh. I've learned a lot. I've taught people a lot. And people have taught me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's swap up that mutation for while we're in this area. Beautiful call. Uh, so we take you off and we put you on for that sizzle protection. We need it. 
Yeah, so there's the skeleton like over by that rock there. I want to see what he's got. Do a hard save now just in case. Yeah, just while we're in there. This is a far distance to travel back if not. True. Because a lot of these enemies still don't mess a fucking round, man. Just waiting for my stamina to regen. It's annoying. But I just used that time to get free stamina regen. Like, these guys have so much health. Excited to get stuff that we need though. Those ladybird larvas are beasts. They're 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 they'll fuck you up. Mm -hmm. The mint mallet is a damn power. A mint mallet. Okay, well, now you've piqued my fucking interest. All right, so the bag from here, where? Giant blue bag. Is this a bag? This thing? In here? In it? On it? Under it? Inside it. Cool. When I was envisioning bag, I was imagining like a little tiny rucksack on the ground. Like a, like a little like little knapsack or something. It's a life-size bag. That makes it kind of easy. I'm sizzling. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hmm. Well, there's a two over there. I need that. There's a hole up that way. Can I get you without sizzling to that? Yes, I can. Once I get my stamina back. So this will increase my healing by 15% right here. Well, once I spend it on it. So is it literally? Oh, I see it. There's a literal katana in it. So, I'm going to have a bandage, and I'm going to fucking yeet it. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's save here, because I'm probably going to kill myself. I could make a set of antlion armor if I want, antlion armor if I wanted to, but lazy. My skin is spoiling. Pull the flaming sword. We're being attacked. Hmm. I eat this normally. So, do I need to defend it? Mastering secret. I am burning hard here, man. So I just need to survive here for this time. I see that the sword has a health bar and then there's mastering the secret. I'm going to just shoot from a distance. The sword's durability hasn't moved. Oi, get off that damn sword. Now it's taking damage. I don't have any other arrows, do I? No. Fuck, that would have been really nice. If I could have, um... I mean, this is probably what bothered the water. So, uh, if you guys could have told me that I had to do, like, a giant boss fight of, like, 500 enemies, that would have been a little bit of info, too. The bag, the sword, and it, get the sword. Uh, maybe some information would have been nice. <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah. 
Hey, Amp, you have to survive 10 minutes inside a coal bag while you're burning. That would have been some information. That would have helped. Just a little bit. Nobody, nobody thought of, uh, hit me with that information. No, nobody. We've all roast spoiled. Oh, no. Oh, well. Off you go. What's the duration on the other ones? They're all fine. We had... Nobody, nobody think about that? <laughs> I mean, this is probably... Like, go into the bag, get the sword. It's like, you have to do a 12-wave round to get it. <laughs> so, what I'd ideally need for this is, I'd need a lot of gas arrows would be perfect. I think I can craft up some ones to get back to my, back to my build. That'd be really good. Because I can just shoot Let's them there, and they'll just find. do AoE damage. So I can just sit back, because it's only the ones that are on top of the sword that is actually attacking it. You failed nine times? Well, that would have been some nice information to know. From from what I read from the chat was, hey, go in that bag, get a weapon. <laughs> Nothing else was mentioned. Wasters. Fuck you all. <laughs> Making me die! I don't die in this game! How dare you! I'm pissed! <laughs> we got the toot. That's nice. But... So what I want to do is I want to make up some of the gas arrows. I can throw those down, shoot the rest. We'll be all good in that case. Noise. So we know the spot that we need to be in. I did get you. But for now, that's a little too much. And then hopefully I won't even have to make the Antlion armor. I'm just very um, against crafting armor to use it for one specific thing and then never use it again. Because I'm probably never going to use it again. <laughs> Uh, I was about to just do something. What was I about to do? I opened up my inventory for a reason. And that reason was... I don't know. Parkour. Ah. Uh. Oh, I remember what I was going to do. Taking you off and putting you on. The damage that thing does is really nice when it triggers. So, let's go back. Let's craft up some uh, gas arrows. Because they do good AoE damage. The rocket. Check the skeleton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check out the skeleton. Good shout. I'll pop a bandage and I'll put on that mutation and we'll uh, see. Oh, that wolf spider is too close. I don't like that. Come on. I want to parry him again just so I can be full health out of this. Thank you. Motherfucker. Poison on him that does so much damage. Come on. My God.
Full health. Bro, two wolf spiders at the same fucking time and ended it with full health. Jesus. What do you want? God damn. Imagine killing two wolf spiders and then getting killed by a larva. Dude, those ladybug larvas are no joke. They will fuck you up. Yeah. The main thing about the wolf spiders right now that causes us issues is their poison. Their poison does a lot. But the thing there, like their actual direct attacks, we can manage perfectly fine. It's the poison that does the damage. So two wolf spiders attacking me at once. If one of them poisoned me and then the other one poisoned me, I only have one poison on me. They don't give me two sets of poison. So that's how we're able to manage staying alive there the entire time. Their actual attacks, I can parry those like it's nothing. That's fine. Keep them rocking. But once that poison goes on me, that's like 60% plus of my health gone from one go. And it's just like, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm like, well, there goes my HP now. Uh, so two of them attacked me at once. Honestly, was still pretty rough. Because it was double the chance of me being poisoned. But like, god, god damn, man. That was pretty hardcore. Yeah. My skin is boiling. What does that one do? This one does. A badge from an ominous scientist granted access to the specific development of the work, plus attack, and then imperfect block is what it does. Let's see. Let's read that. So imperfect block, unable to perfect block. Oh, wow. It removes your option for a perfect block, but increases the damage that you do. Hmm. That's kind of cool. If you want to just make a full glass cannon build, rock that bad boy. Nice. Uh, hi, I didn't grab the rest of your stuff because it's not taking it. Jesus. I'm clicking the button was like, no, no, that button doesn't work for this. Woo. Okay, let's let my health regenerate just a little bit before I go off doing anything. Woo. We good. Dangerous though that bad boy on i can't wait until i can have like five mutations on at once that one's gonna be fucking sick i'm excited for that just letting my health regenerate a little bit that's not so bring bad. this up too good yeah uh we got master coming in with that fresh sub yo dude thank you very much for the sub thank you thank you bring this up to 549 active subs Ooh, one off 550 not bad not bad Thank you very much for the sub. I got it while waiting for my health to regen. Don't forget, if you're sub in a stream, there is indeed many benefits in there. Get a badge in the chat beside your name, access to our supporter stickers. I do a monthly giveaway every month. We've been doing that giveaway for like the last two years, and that is a next-gen gaming console of your choice. You want a brand new Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Quest, um, or even a Steam Deck? We'll hook you up with it. Pretty damn simple. We do that giveaway every single month, and we'll be doing this month's one either probably this weekend. Probably, probably like this Saturday, so don't miss out on that bad boy. Uh, again, we do that every month. That's an Xbox Series X. That's a PlayStation 5, an OLED version of the Nintendo Switch. Pretty much the best of all of the next-gen system. 
that is every month just for a sub we're able to fund those with the subs that we have so you know the money goes straight back into the community basically in there which is pretty cool um merch discounts if you want to check out a merch store links in the description of course in there too um only fans content and a couple other things for being a sub so if any of those interest you maybe go ahead and sub to the stream and if you don't like being a sub you can cancel it at any time so maybe go ahead and check that bad boy out because why not yeah Use the hot spring. It makes me get thirstier faster is the only thing. So I don't want to uh, run out of hydration any faster than I need to. Yeah. Because I've got like seven more bandages in my inventory. So it's fine. Just don't want to run out. Right. I need to drop down here. I would follow the wall all the way down and find those other mega, uh, those other milk molars, but I don't have any dandelions right now. So I won't be able to get off the wall the way I'd like to. Mm. I need to go back up that way anyway, but back to our base, repair my weapon, grab some more food. I don't really need food too much right now, but I still need to use a couple pieces of my inventory during that last fight because there was multiple wolf spiders at once and larvals all at the same time attacking me. So that was pretty rough, but we still managed to get through, which was really fucking sick. That's just showing how strong our character is getting now with the build that we're doing. Um, I have that milk molar, which will increase my dam uh, my healing by an additional 15%. I'm going to get even more healing than I already do now. Um, I need to make up some gas arrows so that way I can kill, uh, hopefully get that, um, that charcoal sword that we just seen uh so that spawns in like a wave of those ladybug larval so i can sit back at a distance and take them out in my bow the only thing is i need a few more arrows in my inventory and having those gas arrows will also be huge for us they will be super useful because i can shoot them from a distance and just sit back and let the gas tick away do i have glue yep we did indeed Hello. Beep. Check this out. Electrical bow. <laughs> That's the mutation we got for killing the assistant manager boss fight. That boss fight was intense. But yeah, we got our glue masher yesterday. Um, and then we have tons of glue. Our repair glue, that is. Like, loads of it. Yeah. <laughs> So that's really handy. And that's all this tool takes to repair. One of them. I think I've got like 15 just sitting back at my uh, little village area. Like nothing, yeah. Mm -mm. Gas arrows plus fire lava equals kaboom. I wish they'd just blow up like that. That'd be great. I wonder if they are weak to, to gas like that. That would be nice. So the only downside about having uh, using this charm is that I cannot use the charm that makes me do more salt damage or more spicy damage, which basically means enemies that are weak to those, I don't do as much damage as I could do, but my survivability is multiplied by 10x because of this charm. So I do a little bit less damage, but my survivability is way more, which just means I got to throw in a couple extra melees every now and again. <laughs> And once I get this weapon upgraded more, we'll be laughing. Like, it's still by no means weak, but once I can get that oven, I can increase this thing by a lot more. Hopefully. <laughs> and then we're going to check out that other weapon too, because supposedly the weapon that we're about to be checking out, I uh, can like four hit kill a wolf spider. No stamina. Hello. I can't see through the... Thank you. Couldn't really see his attacks through the, uh, the blades of grass. And up this way. Let's go. I was running. Do, 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 I want to say how strong that sword is. The only downside about that sword is it's a two-handed sword, so I can't use my shield. So I'm wondering how that affects my blocking bonus, because it doesn't say blocking bonus 
with shields, you know? Block strength, just block more. That's all that really is. Parry healing, perfect block heals you. You can do a perfect block with a two-handed weapon. Uh, Skyrim Brace occasionally heals you after blocking attacks. Doesn't say anything about a shield. Doesn't mention a shield. So I can still block with a sword and I can still perfect parry with a sword. The shield just gives us more blocking defense. So if I'm just to hold my shield up like this and I get hit, it does less stamina damage and it doesn't stagger me. Where if I'm using my sword and I just block like that, it's going to chunk a lot more of my stamina and my guard break will break easier, I imagine. It's called a coal tana. That is such a good name because it's a charcoal katana. Coal tana is for a kill at power level eight and above. Ooh. Stop teasing me, dude. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's true. If we go ahead and we craft... I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's a very good call. If we crafted up the tick sword, our healing on that would be insane. Oh, do I want to make up the tick sword? Do I want to go maximum damage I put or maximum survivability? So they both have the pros and cons. Maximum survivability. If I use this, I block, I heal. I perfect parry, I heal. I attack, I heal. So I'm just unkillable. But with a stronger two-handed build, I kill faster, which means I don't need to heal as much. So it's kind of like, what way do I want to go with it? Hmm. I kind of forgot about this thing because this does have lifesteal on it. And this attack speed is huge. So I'm doing a lot of attacks per minute and every attack I'm getting health regen on. My armor increases my health regen. My fucking passives and stuff increase my health regen too. I didn't even think about that. So I can heal just on hits too. Mm, I genuinely didn't even think about that. I still want to get the Cole Tana. Also, what an amazing name. To just see. Because don't need to heal if you've killed the enemy. If you think about it, right? Like, if I can two-hit kill an enemy, then don't need to heal at all. So maybe we find we either go full, maximum, unkillable tank build. And it's not like, oh, my damage is shit. My damage is still going to be really good. Like, we're going to upgrade this thing. It's still going to be strong. We're still going to kill shit. It's still going to be really good. So it's kind of like, ooh. It's like, do we go, like, maximum survivability with pretty good damage? Or moderate survivability with really good damage, right? So what way do we want to go for it? I'm kind of leaning towards maximum survivability with pretty good damage I put. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards, which would involve getting this bad boy right here. And especially with how our build is done so far, this would just fit so perfectly in there. So all we really are missing for this is pinecone pieces, and we're about to be able to get pinecone pieces. Yeah, because to get pinecone pieces, I need this bad boy. And to get this bad boy, I'm missing one item. And to get this one item, I need this bad boy, which I've already got. So we can go up and get that. And then we can basically make it. Mm -hmm. It also depends on what you're fighting too. Very true. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very true as well, right? Where if I have maximum survivability, that survivability is always going to just be maximum survivability. But if I'm fighting against something that, you know, like my sword doesn't do the max amount of then i'm definitely losing out on a lot of that survivability then very true yeah not everything is gonna you know succumb to the death is easy but my maximum healing is always gonna be maximum healing very true i didn't even think about it in that scenario right mm. yeah makes you think definitely makes you think a little bit in there i'm thinking we go full ladybug armor Black and shield, and that tick sword. Or maybe we just keep using this uh, pinch whacker. Nah, if I'm gonna use, mm, we'll have to see. Uh, hello. I have lots more spider pieces, so in you go. I got too many spider pieces, and um. Maybe not throw my uh, my main primary weapon away. 
Just checking. I don't know uh, where I have inventory slots, so I'm just checking in any of them. It's eight in there. And you go in there. Got a few more you boys. In you go. So I need to get me some more arrows. I need to top up my water. We're good. We're good. Uh, and then just some base food, just in case. Yeah, cool. And put you back. So, can I craft up the arrows I want? Do I have the things I need for it? Oh, spicy arrows. I forgot they were a thing. Mint arrows, salt arrows. They're for some of the bigger boys. Gas arrows. I don't have any stink bug parts? What have I done with them all? Okay. Hmm, that's annoying. I might have to go farm some stink bugs then in that case. That's annoying. I thought I had loads of them. Nice you got the glue factory thing. Yeah, that's been really nice, man. That's been really, really nice. Let's top up our water. Let's go kill some of the, the larval boys down bottom. I mean, this is probably what bottled Let water. those mushrooms grow. Come here, Mr. Um, weevil. No, larval down bottom. Weevil. Two. Two. There's one. There's two. Any more? There should be a few more in the area, right? There's usually more. Come on, I got mushrooms here. Come eat them. Hmm. There's two for now. You turned the stink bug stuff into glue yesterday? Uh, that was their body parts, not their not their um not their sack thingies. Yeah, those don't even uh those don't even turn into glue. Yeah, it's just the, it's like the bug body parts. You basically mush them into glue. This I don't think you can even turn the stink bug parts in. Let's have a look. Yeah, because it's the parts for them. Parts, parts. So we've done all the stink bug parts. That's that's a different thing. Yeah, we can't even turn the bits we need. The thing we need is the stink uh, stink bug gas sack. Different item. Yeah, different item. Right, I need to go out and get some more tissels to make some more arrows, because we, uh, we low on them. In you go. Thank you, thank you. Cook up these. Go get some more tissels. We will get some from... That one, maybe? I think that one there. I'll have more of a look when we get closer. Do, 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 do. The ones we climb up that have them all on them. It's hard to see at this distance. We'll find them as you go out. But yeah, I need to find some stink bugs and kill them. So what we should do is, I want to get a lot of them because if I can just throw those up, we got that Coltana in no time. And I don't have to make any antline armor. I am, for some reason, against making it. I don't know why. I have all the pieces to make. I can make the full armor set if I want to. I just refuse to. Because I'm stubborn and I'm stupid. The double S is the worst kind of combo. <laughs> so, I don't know why I don't want to make it. I just don't want to make it for some reason. Don't feel like it. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. These, I do this straight. Yeah, yeah. You needed to get the coal. Now nah, we can put on mutation that gives us lower sizzle. We will take damage, but we can run up. Do we need and dip out? <laughs> Again, stubborn. I'd rather take a little bit of damage than I'd be fully immune. Uh, so I'm looking for stink bug, stink, 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 stinky boy. This is what I'm looking for. We got one over here. Let's mark it up. Oh, we got one closer here. Potentially. And I can check those on this map, right? Yep, cool. We're going to go over and find those stink bugs and get their pieces. Because uh, I, I, every one of those allows me to make two gas arrows. I want to make as many as I can because there looked like there was a lot of those guys coming in. And they'll just tick damage away. So I can just shoot one, let it sit there for a while, shoot another one, let it sit there for a while. And it should hopefully kill all of the larval, uh, the ladybug larval thingies faster than they can destroy this sword. 
and then I can get that sword. We'll see. Oh, I have an extra molar. I need to I need to go back down there. I can increase my healing by another 15. Go, let's go, let's go. Should have done that. I forgot while I was down here, honestly. I remember this time. And boom. 15% heal increase. Ye yeah boy. And then I want uh, max consumption size increase next. I need one more mega, one of the big ones next. That's not a big deal. It'll just help out. But we just increase all our healing by 15%. My passive heal, my parry heal, everything. And then when we get that tick sword, it will also increase its healing as well. Rush to five mutations, they scale better? Yeah. This is the joys of a, of a game like this. You know, you kind of play how you want to play. You know, there's no like exact perfect way to play through the game. Like, that's why there's different weapons, different items, different like mutations, stuff, different ways of building your characters and focus on. Because if it was just like one patch for everybody, it'd be pretty boring. Because it's kind of like an RPG, you know, you, you play how you want to play. And that's, that's one nice thing. There's no wrong way to build your character. No wrong thing to spend your points on at the beginning. You know, you just play how you like. And that's what I like about games like this. You know, the way I have chose to play true might not be the exact way everyone else has chose to play, uh, play true. And I like that. It's always fun. Hey, Mr. Stinky Bug. Fuck off. Hey, Mr. Stink Bug, I don't want to be like up in your face because you a bitch. Oh, damn, I thought I was at a range on that. I was not. He's a stinky boy. Didn't mean to shoot that last one. Come here, big fella. I need the Might Fuzz to make my extra arrows as well. I have some Might Fuzz back, but... Just to make some more. All right, let's see if he dropped this one. not guaranteed sometimes you can drop one sometimes you can drop two he dropped one nice sometimes i'll drop zero so one's better than none how's puppy doing yeah jimmy's doing really good man he's uh he's improved big time just like this week alone he's getting a lot more better like he's getting a lot more he's coming to his own you know he's 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 just like he's coming alive it's good to see very good to see uh right next one i believe there's like tree stink bugs down here let's take them out Gas masks help against uh, fighting against sink bugs. Yeah, we know that. But arrow, shoot them from a distance. I heard if you got an enemy's health down to zero, that kills them. <laughs> well, we see that there's already gas in this area, so I'm going to say we're in the right place. Bonk, bonk. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Bonk. All right, Mr. Stinky Boys. Hmm. I'd eat this normally. Damn, you aggro from a good distance. I'm seeing at least two of them. Oh, hey, if you want to just sit still, I would love that. I see three of them. One more to the left. This guy wants to sit here. I'm game. Need some more black ant to repair your shield. Yeah, I think I need one more black ant part. Is that what I require? Mm -hmm. 
And we can get those by the picnic table and in some other spots as well. Yeah, so I'll have to get them when I go up to the picnic table next time. There's sometimes there's ones under the picnic table. There's usually a couple on top of it as well. And then there is just default places for them too. Shit, I've only got nine arrows. Popped all mine into these guys over here. Well, at least I get them all back. Come here. Sorry, just trying to get my arrows. Ow. Joke's on you. I like it when you do that to me. Okay, he got stuck in between the same blades of grass. All right, cool. Sit back. Sharpshooter away. Oh, no. Whatever am I going to do? How am I going to kill him? This is good. You got six already? Is that what it said? Nice. Let's see. Hopefully, this guy drops us like two. That'd be beautiful if he did. Oh, poor aphid. One. I have four. Four of them. I wish I had six. You had me excited there for a minute. I was like, damn, how did I get six? One of them must have dropped something else. Nah, nah, just, just four. Do, 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 do. Uh, map right. We get another one. Maybe a couple. Right over this way. We're just hunting these guys down right now, trying to get all these. Because I want to make as many gas arrows as I can. Because we need to take out waves of enemies. And a lot of them stack up together in the one spot. They don't even aggro to me. So I can sit back, throw up like 20 gas arrows. And we can just sit back and laugh. Is what I'm hoping for. We'll see how well that goes. Yeah. Taking a look around. Can you make some bombs to clear them out? Yeah, the bombs do some pretty good damage. They do. Um, the only thing is the bombs are a little bit awkward because I got to go grab loads of red ant eggs and they can like hatch and stuff and they need to get some fungal pieces too where if I just go off and hunt these guys down, I have one single objective. It's easy. Stink bug. Kill stink bug. Get this. Where instead I got to go over to the gas area, get fungal pieces, go to the red ant area, get the eggs, make sure the eggs don't hatch because the eggs can hatch. Um, both are definitely options. I feel like this is the easier option, though. Stinky bug. Hello. Oh, you know what? I think there's a... Uh, there's a, a, a web sack under the ground. And I think that's what it's marking here. Over this way we go. Yeah, because there's a, there's a wolf spider underneath here. So there's probably some sacks down there too. That's more than likely what is uh, being marked for us. Because you can get some nice items inside of the web sacks. Thistles, did I pass by any thistles? I, I actually wasn't even looking out for them. I do need to get more thistles because I do need to make more arrows. 33 arrows is all I have. Which is still a decent amount, but I, I need to be more. If you spot me, scream at me. Yeah, scream at me. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I screamed at you. Does that also count? Does that also count? Right? Let me make sure these are nice and refreshed. Do we do it right? Uh, where am I? Have I just walked past it? Where is it? Past it? Hey, Ant. What's the news? Huh? No, no thistles. I 100% I just seen some thistles. I was too busy screaming down the microphone. Is this just big ass fucking plants blocking it? And I'm just not seeing it? Stream, where did it go? I'm not seeing it anymore. I'm, 
I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm not seeing it. Was that it? Did I pop? How did, how did I go that far past it? That's what I get for going full cam and screaming at the chat. <laughs> yeah, went straight past it, man. Holy shit. Oh, well, at least we get the items we need. That's all that really matters. <laughs> screaming at chat got me lost. Get all of them on there. Cool. Click, 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 click. So yeah, all we need is these and my fluff thingies, which we have loads of. And I got a few more as I was coming out, just in case. This will stack me back up on loads of arrows. Arrows are recoverable, but just sometimes, you know, you just don't recover some of them. Sometimes you miss and end up off in Narnia. Um, sometimes you just don't find them. And that's all of them. Cool. We good. It was the spiky purple flower, bro. I could not find it. I absolutely lost it. And this is where we're going to be going. Maybe more over. Cool. We're good. <laughs> That's this spot here. Take a look around. Gonna stay out of that range. Come on, stamina regen. Okay, cool. While he's doing his gas. Remember that stamina to regen. Damn, look at that damage. Ooh, that gas is hardcore. And we're going to be making arrows out of that. Got to wait for the gas. I killed him. Just got to wait for the gas to go away. I think you need the dandelion also. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah I'm out of dandelions. Yeah, because I need the dandelion to fly back over that side of the wall. At least back. it's clean. Ish. Okay, we good. Okay, I have five of them now, which that is ten arrows. That's ten gas arrows. Is ten enough? Do I need more than ten? I'd like to make as many as I can. Ideally, I want to make as many as I can. Okay, we want to go over to here. I'm just killing these mites to get their mite fuzz. Thank you. Just in case I don't have as many as I think I do. Oh no. I just killed all of these by blocking. God damn, that's a big boy explosion right there. I would attack you, but stamina. Wow! Give me your infected stuffs. That block, though. Mm hmm. Let's maybe not go up that way. I don't need to. I don't need a ladybug. I need to get down to these larval boys. Think bug? Think bug. I don't see any. Hmm. 
few up there. That's up quite far, though. Do we have to make up 10 arrows, I believe, right? Do you think 10 gas arrows would be enough? It lasts for a good few seconds. We could try with 10, and I can just be shooting normal arrows at the same time. So I'll shoot one gas arrow, swap back normal arrows, pop them, swap the gas. We can save it. We'll save beforehand, just so that way, if 10 arrows isn't enough, I didn't just waste all my 10, then I gotta go get more. So we'll do a save beforehand. Use the 10 arrows and see kind of what way it goes. And uh, let's get a dandelion in our way as well. I will get this Coltana. It sounds fucking sick. Two-handed Katana. That does fire damage. I still need to get my tier three hammer though as well. That's one thing. Which, with this axe, I can now do that. So the prioritized to Coltana. Well, I want to... We have the arrow, so I want to see if we can do it. There's me dandelion. Dandelion? Alright, fuck you. I meant this one's my dandelion. Okay, I seen that one. Don't know if the other one landed in the water and just disappeared and not, but there we go. And we're going this way. Yeah, we'll see if 10 gas arrows is enough. Someone was talking about the rake stone earlier, but I forgot why. People talk about a lot of things, yeah. You're gonna like the black feather arrows to do a lot more damage? We have, um... We have the feather arrows. They only do, like, 10% more damage, though. Like, that's it. If it's those, unless there's another set of arrows... But those ones there don't do that much more damage. Like, a very tiny amount. Overall, that tiny amount adds up if you're doing a lot of hits to somebody. But it costs a lot to make. They're not cheap. Yeah, it costs good resources. Mm -mm -mm. Prioritize the hammer. You need it to get the coal chunk to actually even make the coal tanner. Oh, yeah, true. True. Yeah, so I get the recipe for the coal tan now, but I still can't even craft it until I get that. Yeah. That does make sense, right? Okay, I've made a few arrows. I made 141. Do you think that's enough? So three stacks of 25, and then a stack of you. That's enough. There you go. You'll go in there. No space for you in there. And space for you in there. Good. Three stacks of arrows. Some of those. Some food. Some light heals. Some more you. That's eight of you. Some of you for hunger. A couple decent bits of food. What time are we at? Nine, eight, seven. Let's sleep. It's nighttime. We'll send it up. That's fine. Wake up, 3M. Splinter arrows, I believe, is the next tier. Oh, oh, that's what I use the splinters for. I can actually now start getting those. Oh, nice ooh, nice ooh. Okay, okay. That's not so bad. I was hoping they were going to be um, all good. Consume. Consume. Get that hunger up a little bit. All right. 
options, display, cranking it. Right, so I think we should focus on getting that tier 3 hammer first because I can't even get the Coltana until I have that. So I can get the recipe for it, but it makes no difference. But we're pretty set up for that to be ready to go. So all I'm missing is pupil letter, and we know where to go for that. We have a little bit of a trip to go. Once we get that, I can then get the coal, which means I can then get the coal tanner. And then once I get this, I can then harvest the pine cones. And now I can also start harvesting the lint rope, which means I can make up this bad boy because I want to test this out with our current build because our build is all about healing and surviving while having really good health generation. So I want to see what the health generation with this thing is like paired with everything. So I want to test that out. But I think this weapon here could be like invincibility with it on. Mm -hmm. You don't need the tier three hammer to get the coal. You need tier two. Are you sure about this? Everyone else has told me I require tier three. And everything else up that side of the map has required tier three. Every single thing I've seen. Dandelion as well. I have a dandelion. Yeah, every single, uh, like, harvestable item, minus the upgrade items, the lower level ones, have been that. Yeah, they've been big boy requirements. Like, everybody in the chat has been telling me that. Poo-poo letter time. Pupil letter time. Like the pupa from, like, Solar Opposites. Please tell me you've watched that. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The shield stops your weapon from getting damaged when blocking. Shield stops your weapon from getting damaged while blocking. What? Why would your damage get... Why would your weapon get damaged if you're blocking with a shield? What? Did you know if you own a motorcycle and a car, if you drive your car, it saves you fuel on your motorbike? Like, yeah. Because it's not being used. Say one. Say one. I am confusion. Uh, also, don't worry about the game being whitewashed right now. It's nighttime. Torches are shit in this game. Honestly, I wish they had put more light. So we've just cranked our gamma at nighttime. But yeah, so need to get some pupil letter. We need to kill some black ants while we're over here. Uh, I'm going to repair my shield instantly. I only need... Oh, I never brought any with me, so I'm going to kill a few over here. Um, we have loads of gas arrows ready to roll for when we're fighting uh, around the coal tanner. Uh, we then need to harvest some coal so I can get... Fuck off. So I can go ahead and do that bad boy. Um, we need to get the pupil letter. Then we can make our hammer. Then once we get our hammer, we can harvest the pine cones, which will allow us to make our black ox crossbow. And then also, then I'll be able to make up that sword we wanted to make, which is the tick sword. Uh, and we want to see the health regeneration with that because of our armor and other stuff we've leveled up so far. I'm very curious to see how much healing regeneration we can get from it. Boop. Electrical arrow. Come here. Bop. <laughs> Ow. Stop step, bro. Taking a look around. Hello. Alright, it's about to be morning time now, so we can crank this back to normal. 42. At least Skip. it's clean. Ish. Right, so sometimes you get some black ants on the ground down here. And if not, there's usually some up top. I need to kill a couple of them so I can repair my shield real quickly. I've only got a few black ant parts back at my village. Probably should have brought them with me. Didn't think about it. I didn't have enough in my village to repair my shield though. So I still had to find some. But let's see if we get lucky and see if there's any on the ground level here. Hello. Mr. Ant! Oh. That's not an ant. 
Mr. Ants. We got any around here? Hmm, none that I'm seeing right now. That's just you. Come on, give me one of the black ants right here. I've always seen at least two when we were up top, which should probably give us enough to repair, but I'd like to make sure I'm just good, just in case, yeah. And I can absolutely use a tier two hammer, so a tier two hammer will get me coal. Well, then I think we're going to just have to go try to coal Tana right now then, right? I think we've got to do it right now then. I, I did bring... Uh, those arrows with me just in case. So we got ourselves three stacks of 25 and then a stack of 10 gas arrows. Sit back, pop them from a distance and just uh, see how they uh, get a hold up. Yeah, see how they hold up. We've not done the Black Ant Lab yet, no. Oh, hey, there's one. Hey, buddy. Okay, there's two pieces. I kill one more and I can uh, repair this bad boy. Oh, well, hello. Come on, attack me so I can heal. There we go, thank you. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Bunk, bunk. I actually might have to kill this guy before I go up. Because if he destroys my platform, I can't actually get up to the top. Fuck you, buddy. I let my stamina regen for a sec. Because I'm holding my arrow drawn, I don't actually get any uh, stamina back. Fuck you, Mr. Bombardier. Do, 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 I'd seen another ant. Where'd he go? Mr. Ant, was he running this direction? Might have despawned already, shit. Let's see what we can I think find. that thing Those just killed him. Like uh, but I think I have enough anyway to repair this, right? No, tree. I need one more. Damn, that's annoying. So the last one, he dropped one piece. That son of a bitch. I definitely just spotted one, but he's already like despawned uh yeah i've got the mutation for sizzle protection yeah, yeah, yeah. i can make a full set of the antline armor but i choose not to because i'm an idiot and i, I find it funny <laughs> come on last mr ant where are you at we two in a row i spotted one and then he despawned before i could get to him Come on, buddy. I need one more black ant piece. One more. I need to go up to the black ant hill and just like harvest tons of them. Right. I think we just go up top and uh, hope that there's one up on the table. I've always seen two up on the table. So let's hope that there's some up there too. Yeah. You'll need the armor and the mutation. It's insanely hot by the sword. That's just where I like to thrive. Sit back. I'll show you how you do it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't need antline armor. I literally have all the material to make the full set if I feel like it. I just uh, don't. I'll put on the mutation and that's about it. <laughs> And we'll, we'll see how we do. We'll, we'll see how we do. Yeah, I like to play my game silly. Instead of, like, blowing that down with a bomb, I've made my own platform. I do loads of stupid shit like that because, I don't know, it's funny. I like to play different than people do. Because if not, kind of a boring stream if I just do exactly what everybody else does for their games. At least you get to watch me do some stupid shit and have a laugh at me for being stupid. 
It's like the one chip challenge, bro. That one chip challenge was fucking rough. Being really drunk when I done it did not help. <laughs> it did not help. Hilarious, though. Would not recommend. Yeah. Mm -mm. You check the weaknesses of different bugs in the menu. Um, I actually have not had to check it once because my chat is on it, bro. They are on it. Like before, I'm a, a B chat's like fire. And I'm like, oh shit, I, I didn't even ask stream, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a uh, really handy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, look at that. It's an ant. And they're like, salt. <laughs> they're like, well, cool. Sweet. Mm, we need a little bit left on you. Let's consume one of these. You guys are going to aggro, right? Am I going to have to kill you? Nailed it. Critical hit on the first hit. Wow. Bye. Yeah, look at that just passive health regeneration going on. That was for just blocking, not even perfect blocking. Just blocking. Let's see how much I get for a perfect block here. Wow, that was a good chunk. And my passive heal also triggered on that too. So basically one block and I'm full health again. You can me with that one, dude. Sorry, Mr. Buzz Buzz. Thank you for the free heals, though. Going pretty good. And again, if we can get that tick sword, I'm very curious to see what our healing potential will be. I don't think I'll do as much damage as I do with this weapon, but I feel like it could be pretty good until I upgrade this weapon a little bit more. Okay, we got a few more from you. It's our first time getting splinters. So I can use these for arrows as well, yeah? Upgraded arrows, who this? Uh. Good. That works too. Hey, if it works, it works, right? Don't you? Fuck it. You have to run up and hold to activate. Yeah, we've already activated it. And then we actually died during it all. Um because we just got way overrun. I didn't actually know what was happening. Chat just told me, hey, go in there, there's a sword, just get it. They did not tell me that there was like a whole fucking wave of mobs I had to survive for. So I went in completely not prepped whatsoever. We made about halfway through with zero preparation. So now I have an idea what's going on. So I should be good. Maybe. Oh, I actually need to go, I need to go up to the top and... Uh, and uh, get uh, one more end piece before I jump down there. So, yeah, now we're a bit prepared. We have some gas arrows. I've got 10 gas arrows. Uh, there's a black ant. So that should sort me out now. Ooh, come here. Where's the black ant here? Thank you. There we go. I just needed to go up there and get them. And repair. Cool. That gives me three more black ant parts. And I think I have three more back in my village as well. I just didn't have enough at the time. I probably should have brought those other ones with me, but whatever. Uh, this shield, I shouldn't have to repair for a little while now. Oh. Gonna be honest. Forgot there was a gap. Just kind of forgot. Roll the dice is like a mini game, really? <laughs> oh yeah, there's a scanner up there. Yeah, I should actually probably use that scanner on the the splinters just to have, because I might be able to make some arrows right now. Look at that, bro. You're not just a pretty face. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, good call. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> you roll the see dice. What we can find. That would have been hilarious if you thought, I didn't have that much health remaining. 
That uh, that could have been that could have been a debt, yeah. Oh. Stop. Oh. So what do I do to actually roll them? Do I just boop them, or is it a different die? They don't really look like they move. Different dice. It's a dice that's at the end of the maze. Ah, we've already been in there. Yeah, cool. Let's go check it out. Scanning! Yes, says! Splinter arrows. So let's have a look at those. I want to see what they do. Crafting and splinter arrows. Tier 3 arrows. Okay. Nice. They do about 50% more damage than our other ones. We just need dust mite fuzz. I have dust mite fuzz. What did I get that for? I have... I have a lot of these. Oh, yeah, we get them. I know exactly where we get them. And then it's just these. Five. Is that for one? For five. So five splinters is five arrows. And then two of you. Okay. I am probably going to start stacking up on these arrows. If I can get splinters as commonly as I think. I have tons of dust mite. Uh, and I get those really easy because they spawn like right outside of my build. Like, right outside of my build. Mm -hmm. We've already been over to that bench before. I just kind of forgot about it. So, let's find this dice you guys were just mentioning. I feel like this is a trap, but... The key to the chest in the broken, uh, is in the broken pipe set of the picnic table. Yeah, but what you're not mentioning, which is crucial information, is you need a bomb with it so you can blow it open. So if I went over there to check out the pipe, I just completely wasted my time and it would have just been completely wasted. Information chat. There's, I've noticed that on this game, I have a lot of people who are really trying to help us, which is really, really good. And I really do appreciate that. Um, but so many people leave out incredible critical information all the time all the time yeah you need a bone dagger is that not for the key over by the sandbox is that not that one but like see you know this information but you never told me this information because you clearly know it so that's what i don't get I i've noticed that a lot while playing this game we have a lot of people trying to help us which is really awesome but i'm only being given half the information pretty much all the time and the other half is very critical information. Like, all the time. Yeah. Like, all the time. Like, super regular. It's like, hey, if you go here, you get this item. I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm like, all right, we finally make our way in. And then it's like, oh, I have to have this item equipped. Oh, I also need to fight 12 billion enemies. Oh, I also need to go do this. And no one told me any of this information. Hey, to unlock this, you just got to go to this area. What I haven't told you is you need this weapon, you need this bomb, you need this. It's like, useless, useless. I can't do anything with that info then. I'm just wasting time, which is crucial that I could be doing on other progressive stuff in the game. Anyway, that's my rant. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. Basically, stop giving me fucking half answers because it's not helping. It's just wasting time. And I just feel like you're an idiot. And that's coming from me and I'm like king of idiots. So just saying. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Uh, you go there. And up we go. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know where the two chests are. I know where one of the keys is. It's by like the blue shovel. I need to actually uh, dig it up with like a tier two shovel as well, right? I know where that one is. I haven't got it because just haven't been there when I had the shovel. And then the actual chest is under the water in the very back of the sandbox. And then that one is to do with the pipe. I need a bone dagger or something like that. I thought it was a bomb. But like information that's just completely left out that was not mentioned. So I was like... And then even in here with this thing, it was like, blue bag, you can't miss it. But by the way, you have to activate the sword. It then starts waves of enemies. You got to survive them. None of that information told me. Uh, <laughs> like at all. 
Don't forget the five milk molars. Do I have to do any boss fights? Do I need to bring any specific items? Like, I need to ask these questions every time now. Because, like, I'm just never told. Like, I genuinely need to just be asking these things. People just... I, I just leave them out. Every single time. It's annoying. <laughs> like, I appreciate people trying to help, but it's, like, not helping. And then we sit back. Hmm. You actually fight five different uh, big tittied milfs. Damn, bro. Shit. Headshot multipliers. Once there's a lot of them stacked up, I'm going to uh, start throwing out gas arrows. That one's not even aggroing up to it, so I'm not going to attack them. Only ones that are aggroing to it, because if not, I'm wasting arrows. Wait, is there one on it? Let's there's not, but they're hitting it. I did save the game, didn't I? I waste these arrows. I did save, right? Damn, dude. They fucked up this katana. They did not destroy it that fast last time. 54? Yeah, two minutes ago. Cool. I did. I was like, I don't recall actually saving. I saved before I ran up and activated it, didn't I? Yeah, they fucked that thing up way quicker this time. Oh, it auto-saved me on it. Fuck your auto-save, man. That's a... That was an amazing auto-save. Do I have my own save, please? Yeah, this one. This is this is my save. That's what I get for loading an auto-save. Yeah. Doom, 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 doom. So maybe we should just try bap a few of them point blank before we start turning up those gas arrows, see what we can do. You might be damaging the sword with the gas. Hmm, never thought about that. You think? Seems kind of weird, but you might be right. not terrible. There's a fight starting here. We could hug the boundaries and try fight them and aggro them towards us instead of trying to get height. Man, they bounce around so fucking much. Come here. They're just sitting there, and that's fine. Yeah, that's right. Come on over to me. Mortem, the Zagro and me, the better. A few of them on it right now. I need to start getting some arrows over to them, but gotta kill these guys. I don't know if this gas damage stacks, but I'm gonna just throw all 10 then just to see what happens. I 
I don't know if the gas stacks or not. That was actually... We weren't too far away from it. We were probably like 20% away. Uh, fuck your autosave. No. I think that one was the autosave. I'm just loading my manual. That was only 20% away. The full alien gear is key. Fuck you. I'm not using it. I refuse to equip that armor. You can't tell me. I, I, I loaded the fucking autosave. Are you serious? <laughs> I did. It literally says autosave. God damn it. I'm not loading the autosave. Proceeds to instantly load the fucking autosave. So I don't think those gas arrows stack. I do have the mutation on, don't they? I was smart enough to do that, wasn't I? Oh. I'm sizzling. My skin is boiling. Oh. There's a fight starting here. <laughs> Come on, just aggro me. I don't even need to kill you. I just need you all aggro on me. Alien armor is 100% absolutely required. Amplified, if you then use the Antlion armor, there's absolutely zero fucking percent chance that you're ever going to be able to get the Coltana. I sell, I, I'll bet my left testicle that you can't get the Coltana without having Antlion armor. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your Antlion armor. Alright? Suck my little dick. Bitch. Maybe for you, but me, I am a professional video gamer. I don't abide by what is absolutely required because I am just going to 360 no scope some bitches. That's what I'm going to do. Going to be honest, 
I wasn't sure it was going to be honest. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be possible without the Antlion armor. Honestly, I mean, absolutely. Like Joke. Me memes points. are just being stupid aside. I honestly was, I wasn't even going to give it another shot. I was like, shit, man, I stand no chance without that armor. So I'm, I'm actually genuinely surprised. <laughs> Joke's on you. I have no testicles. Dang it. Dang it. Bested again. But, uh, yeah, we basically just kept as many aggroed in us at once. So they're focused on us. And then the ones that were active on top of it, we killed them with all our gas arrows. Shot the gas arrows. They just kept doing damage then. Shot a gas arrow once I could see it in the corner of my eye of it being away. Because I knew there was going to be ones on it at all times. I was never going to be able to get all of them to aggro me. So it was keep as many busy on me. Pop some arrows over there. Keep them busy on me. Rinse, repeat. Yeah. Alright, I'm just trying to get my arrows back. I shot a lot. Eh. Did you get a mutation? Uh, good dog? Is it either guard dog or good dog? Yeah, I'm not sure what it was. I seen that pop up. Um, And that one is... This one? Guard dog. <laughs> Guarding locations against mobs of angry creatures has awakened your protective instinct. Dealing increased damage to creatures involved in defensive events. One out of three. Oh, that's cool. So if we're doing any kind of more stages like this, throw this bad boy on, do some more. Do a hard save now? No, you can't make me. <laughs> it's like, um, do you just like not do what anybody tells you to do? Yeah, pr pretty much. Pretty much. It's kind of how I live my life. Hey, I'm um, do this. No, fuck you. <laughs> It's like, Amp, I'm trying to help you. Fuck you, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> that's, that's basically me all the time, isn't it? <laughs> Amp, I'm really trying to help you. Fuck you, no. <laughs> this is going to make your life five million times easier. Fuck off, band. <laughs> Pretty much. So here is the spicy coal tanner. Sear foes with a finely crafted blade. Hammered out of tempered spicy glob and always hot ever charcoal chunks. Requires 10 tough gunk. Uh, I think I've got that many. We need five ever char charcoal, which I can get with a tier two hammer is what I was told. I need two spicy glob. So I imagine I need to make two globs first. I've, the, I've got the items to make a glob. Um, and then I, I imagine I need to infuse it with like some of the chili stuff or something to turn it into that then. I don't fully fucking know. Uh, but overall, I cannot make globs until I have a... Uh, oven but Coltana has officially been unlocked and I did not use fucking the antlion armor antlion armor whatever it's called because why not because why not it's already spicy that's not what I said but okay Let's see. Let's take you off now. Put you back on. This thing does some good damage. So now we can go up and get the pupa letter. And then once I have the pupa letter, I can craft my tier three hammer. And then with the tier three hammer, I can get the um the pine cones, which will allow me to craft up my new crossbow and also allow me to craft up the uh tick sword which i really want to check out fuck you buddy yeah i really want to check that out Let's see what we can find. hello Damn, look at that aggro. If I could block you once, that'd be great. <laughs> if I could block you once, that'd be great. Miss, miss, miss. Whitewashed. Did not block a single hit. Yeah. Didn't block a single one. Do do do. Mm -mm. I'm sizzling. Ow. 
Just leave the chunky knees right there. Which ones is it? Is it literally all of these? These don't look like they're harvestable. Oh. Darth Vader Lady will get it. They fuck you up, obviously. Have you fought the brood mother yet? No, not yet. I need to make up like the BLT stuff or whatever it is. Yeah. But what is the items I harvest for them? That ladybug was different. I literally didn't get a single parry on it. It's really hot ones glowing orange by the uh, spilled barbecue. Oh, yeah, whatever. I thought I was missing something in here. Now, do I need the Antlion armor to actually harvest these ones? Probably. Probably. Yeah, the hot, hot ones. We can test. We can see if we can get them. So those boys right there. So those ones, yeah. The smaller ones, the bigger ones. Does it make a difference? I don't know. I just talk crap. Yeah, it seems to be like 90% of the chat while we play this game. Smaller ones? <laughs> My skin is boiling. <laughs> Fuck your antlion armor. Antline armor. So many of these that I need to make the sword that it say I need five, but I also need one of these to make the, the better canteen, right? And then spicy glob. Any information on spicy glob stream? Uh, if you don't know information on it, don't fucking type anything. <laughs> Whenever I ask a question, people are like, yeah, it's probably this, but I don't know. I've never played the game. I'm like, why are you fucking telling me then? <laughs> why are you telling me then? Do, 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 do. Oh, a little too close on that side. There we go. There's the next one we need. Just get my health back. Yeah, somewhere there's a hot spring. Oh, I can get two right here. On the other side of where you are now. That side, that side, that side, that side. There's a lot of sides, believe it or not. Very vague information. We need a little bit more than that. You need the spicy pieces from the spicy sweets. I think I have a few of those back in our village right now. Uh, there's some on top of the canopy above the termite. Yeah, that's the last ones I harvested. Oh, hello. Dude, these guys are so strong. He really is. Sh no joke. All right, I'm full health right now. To harvest! Okay, harvest and do it once was too much. That's why I saved my game. Because I wasn't sure if I could get two in one go. The answer was no. Not without an instant heal of some sort. Do, 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 Matter of fact, there are four sides. Maybe in your two-dimensional space. It's so hot. My skin is boiling. That's the wrong tool. If you drink water, does it instantly chill you out? Yeah, if I had the right tool equipped, that makes sense. Maybe put the mutation on. You mean this mutation that's currently on right now this very second? Yeah, let me let me get right to that stream. Okay, I'm done. Give me that hot spring. Come here, Mr. Hot Spring. Give me 
go and it gives me a little bit of health regen. Let's see what we can find. Get that health back up a little bit. I refuse to make the antlion armor. Antlion armor. I keep calling it the wrong thing. <clears throat> But for a skelly, we've we've already harvested the skeleton. We've already done that. <laughs> nice three pieces from that one. That's six. I still need some more for our canteen if we want to use that though. So I need some tough gunk. I think I might have 10 of those now. I might not. I need some spicy glob. That's the main thing. So I need the spicy pieces and then combine that with the gloves. I can't make gloves because I need an oven. Yeah. And to make the oven, I need something else. Make a charcoal torch as well. Torches are kind of shit in this game. I just up my gamma. It's way easier. Yeah. Mm -mm. The, um, the item you need is somewhere on the map. That's literally how I feel most of the time. It's like the vague answers are pain. Pain. Uh, right, but we can go up now and get our... Not pine cones yet. We can go up and get our uh, pupa letter now. Let's stop fucking around here. That's, that's enough for that, I think. <laughs> now let's make our way up and get that shit that we need. But I should have enough right now to make up my charcoal um, canteen, right? Because I need an oven before I can make up that sword anyway. Unless there's just an oven I can use somewhere else. And because it's nighttime, let's crank the gamma. Boop. There we go. Way easier. Just need to build some netherite armor, right? Give me that full fire. Well, that's basically what the antlion armor is, yeah. So, do I need to go back up to the termite area right now? I can go up there and get some more splinters. I can find the termite king. I should probably get some more food before I do that, though, just in case. Um, we, we need to go get that tier three hammer. So, pupil ladder, back to our base. Tier three hammer, back up. Pine cone, get some lint. I can make that sword I'm looking for, uh, which should hopefully give me insane health regeneration for everything we got going on. Um, then go fight the uh, the termite king. Yeah. Did you find lint? Have not been looking for it. My priorities are in the order how I just said them. But yeah, we couldn't harvest lint until we get a tier 3 um, chopping tool. Now we do. Now we keep running, because I got to get them this way to get to the pupa area. Oh. Bonk. Into the canteen you go. Another one. Cool. Back these up. Um. Let's see what we can find. Danger. Gotcha. You're not far from the milk molders. Yeah. We're barely down the wall at all, though. We're like barely down the wall. Are you sure? All right. We're like a fraction of the way down right now, dude. Earlier on, you told me somewhere around here. And now you're telling me I'm really close to it. This is why I have trust issues with chat. They just say things. <laughs> Look for a blue lid. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'm not going to go out of my way for it, though. If I see it, we'll go check it out. 
do I need to have a specific item with me? Do I need a bomb? Is there going to be a 12-stage boss fight? Uh, does it need to be a certain time of the day? Sorry, I just need to ask these questions now because whenever chat tells me, oh, you just go here for something, usually there's about 50 more things required that they just don't want to tell me for some reason. And I'm getting fucking sick of it. <laughs> but, like, information would be great, you know? No, you don't need anything. It's like, all right, I'm going to drop out my entire inventory, unequipping all my weapons and armor. If I die, I blame you. <laughs> it's like, Amp, we can never win, can we? It's like, no, no. I'm always going to find something to bitch about. <laughs> always. Because it's fun. Because we can. Ooh, that's you. Oh, a little further. <laughs> it just requires a little bit of sarcasm. Is that all we required? Nice. <clears throat> the blue lid's right against the wall, so run in the dirt. I'll just run along the wall. I'll just see it from here now. I'll just get closer over. Less enemies up on the wall. I'll just hug the wall though. I need some more of his items. Hey, if you want to just sit there and let me pop 60 arrows into you, I'm game, dude. If you come across a pink car, you've gone too far. I've actually been by that pink car. We found like a molar in there, I think. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Gas? Sure. There you go. Is that do it for you? Weird request, Prez. Weird request. I know you mean arrows. Uh, I don't have any. Use them. Use them uh, to get in the Coltana. Yeah, use them all. We need 10. I did use them all, right? Yeah, yeah. I've only got normal arrows. Go up and give it a big hug. Okay. type of hug you were looking for? Is that alright? That do the job? Yeah, that do the job. Mm. Oh, hi, random spam bot. And you ready for this? Bomb blocked on YouTube. Remove from all my chats. Thank you. Bye. You're a piece of shit. I hope you get hit by something. Yeah, you best run away. Ah, that one's full out. Oh shit, did I grow the fucking big boy too? Jesus. Thank you. I need the fire ant pieces. Want to make some fire ant armor? 
Just check it out if I'm going for a big damage build. Could be fun. Uh. Alright, there was that big boy DED. Uh, give me that water while I'm here too. At least it's clean. Ish. Yeah, much faster. Yeah, definitely much faster, but more dangerous. Man, does that stun lock? Beautiful. An instant stun? That was like one hit. I need the pieces. Oh shit. Fuck off. No thanks. I don't have heals and I need the items I just got. We Gucci? We all good? We all friends again? All right. I'm going to just get a save here because I got some nice items I would like to not lose. Hmm. Right next to you? Right here? Right up against the wall. I'm not seeing a lid. They got reinforcements? They fucking got some backing in there, didn't they? Make up your mind when you're going to do your attack. Running off to mama. None of that bullshit around here. Ooh. <sighs> very close. I recognize this area. Well, one millisecond you said it's right next to you, and now I'm very close. I want to punch you. I want to punch you. Taking a look around. Ants are little bitches. Absolutely. Hey, potatoes, how's it going? Uh, late to the stream, what I miss? Uh, lots of stuff, man. We built up our character, like, really strong. Yeah. Oh, and just random enemies are just uh, appearing. And I'm better get one shot by this ladybug. Told you. Jesus. Those ones, those black ones are insane. We literally fought two wolf spiders at the same time. Uh, killed them. I wouldn't say no problem, but killed them. One ladybug. That is twice. I've ran into those black ladybugs twice now, and they have one shot at me both times. I haven't had a chance to block or hit or shoot an arrow. They just walk up and go, and I'm dead. <laughs> they are insane. Insane, man. They're insane. Just the black ladybugs. The other ones are fine. <laughs> yeah, they're ridiculous. I think those ones are ladybirds. And then the red ones are ladybugs. Yeah, those ones over there. Come on, Mr. Ant. You stuck in the ground? What are you doing? Mr. Ant is like in the ground right now. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Do, 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 Gas, 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 do, 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 do,
Uh, John just posted the world's longest link ever in the chat. It's literally the world's longest link I've ever seen. Don't let the name fool you. That roly poly's vicious. I don't want no fuck, dude. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say this is it right here. But I need this ladybird to fuck off. Because they've already run a train on me at this stage. Then we sit back and we wait. You gone? All right. So how do I get inside it? Quickly run underneath. Oh, there's a gap. I didn't. I thought that was glass. You need any items to get down here? No, I have no items at all. You need a tier tree axe. I have one. We only got one today, but still. Hello. Hello. Oh my days. One, two, three, four, five. Holy shit, man. That's going to get us some really nice upgrades. Like, this is going to be huge. I can increase my healing even more. I can increase my health even more. I can increase my stamina. Like, from those five, I can do like two to three upgrades. Like, straight away. Thank you. Gives me some more. Yeah. Uh, one last hit. There's actually a skeleton down the tunnel. Look for it. Ooh, let's have a look. They So from what I've seen from the skeletons, they always seem to drop a... Uh, like a badge. The only one we've on right now is pretty fucking sick. It's actually like a huge part of our build right now. So what does yours do? So increases your hauling strength, but reduces your movement speed. Okay, I wonder how much that increases it by. And retrieve. Yep, totally reading all that. So how much do you increase your hauling strength by? Let's have a look. Status page. Uh, haul more items. A specific number would be nice, but fuck you, game. Uh, but that will be really nice when we're doing a lot more base building. Uh, that will be like an absolute must equip, I imagine. Oh, so intern badge. Movement speed reduced, but hauling trend increased. I wonder how much. Up to 15. Shit, really? So damn, a full set of red ant armor increases up to eight. And then all that bad boy on there too. So if it just stacks an extra 10 on top of it, then that's 18. And then I think there's, I think there might be one other thing you can do to increase your hauling trend. But that's, that's a lot. That's going to work out really nice for when we're building up a lot more stuff. Cool. Uh, Ladybird, I'm your friend. I'm your friend. I literally fought two wolf spiders at the exact same time and killed them. Uh, not easily, but fucking killed them fine. Ladybirds have one shot me both times I've ran into them. Hmm, huh, sploosh. Right, now the items that we're actually here for, I believe I get some right here. I need... How many? How many do I need? I need... Just two poopa leather. I get that. And then I can get pinecone pieces. And then once I get the pinecone pieces, I can make up our black ox crossbow. And I can make up this tick sword. We also have just got the spicy cold and we've done the challenge for it. Laughably easy, not even a challenge. Challenges. <laughs> I wouldn't even use the word challenge. Scoffed at that shit. It was so easy. Everyone's like, ah, we need that line armor for it. I'm like, hold my fucking dick, bro. Watch this. First try, of course, always. 
Always. Shut up. New viewers don't know that I'm talking shit. Okay, new viewers don't know that it took me multiple attempts. Shut up. Shh. Shh, 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 shh. I mean, multiple attempts? What? Nah, first try, dude. First try. Anybody who says took multiple attempts around. gets banned. <laughs> but yeah, we've done it without the antline armor, and I'm actually super surprised we're able to do it without it. Everyone in chat was like, there's no chance. It's like, it's impossible to do it without the antline armor. It's absolutely necessary. We don't know without it. It was definitely difficult. But I like making the game more difficult for myself because I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's just more fun to make myself feel more pain. Yeah. Did you save after the five uh T just saved right there, yeah. Or four. So bad. Give me that. Right, so we make our way up this way, and we should find some of the pupa stuff. I just need to... I don't need any of the pupa stuff for any of the other tools I want to craft right now. Ideally, I want to grab just what I need and get the fuck out. I don't need any for you. I just need it for... just need it for this. I don't need it for the actual bow either, do I? No. So literally, just those couple pieces, out. Did it in zero tries, actually. Yeah, I didn't want to brag, but technically, yeah, mm -hmm, that I did. Ronnie can confirm. Don't don't read anybody else's message in the stream chat. No one else knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Fuck off! I genuinely dislike you. Uh, bum bum. There's the pieces I'm looking for. There's some more. There's another one. I need you to shoot. First try. I totally seen it. Appreciate that. Keep the new one. Fire ant worker. What? I've killed like tons of them. Nice. I was like, how do I get to them? I was like, I can just shoot them then. Is it safe? So I take it, I dry it to pupa hides. Uh. Fuck you. By the power of Grey Skull! Thank you. Bye. That's a pebble, but I'm going to take it. That's a bigger boy. Uh. I need his head. Words no woman has ever said about you, stream. Yikes. Ah! I hear the lady bird. And I'm afraid of them. Ah! Okay, there's nine pieces. Um... Let's get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Me? Afraid of a fucking ladybird? You must be joking, man. Must be joking. Those things? Probably went bottom Easy. Line. Laughable. <laughs> Juvenile. What are words that I know recently? <laughs> That's all of them. That's all of the words I know. Let's keep running. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Do I still have a dandelion? When panic sets in, I, bro, cool as your mum. What are you talking about? You think what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bush. Yeah, I don't think I'll make. Oh, hey. Let's well, hello. 
Look at this refined young gentleman. Uh, okay, good. I do have one. Um... No! So close. Fuck you, Jeffrey! So ideally, I need to drop straight from there down is what I need to do. Try to take an angle. The angle of the angle didn't quite work for me. Deals. All right, let's go get eaten by a fucking uh, giant fish. Because why not? <laughs> hey, I know that reference. <laughs> yeah, that's from Ace Ventura. <laughs> I'm joking. It's from the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Obviously. Duh. <laughs> God, man, why do I live stream? Dangle of the dangle was definitely off. That, that it was. Just a bit. Yeah, whoopsie. I thought I could maybe jump it and swing around, but ideally I needed to like back step off and glide forward. Yeah. We'll be back up there anyway. Like, I need to go back up there to get our pine cones. So I'm going to be coming back that direction. So we'll get it then. That, or I'm going to either... Well, cast your votes. Is amp. Boom, 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 boom. Going to one. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -do 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 -do. Uh, going to completely forget that the two is there. And actually, one sec. Do I have like a little... Like... Yeah. Is Amp going to option one, going to completely forget about the toot, or option two, try and make the jump and completely forget again. Cast your vote right now on this gaming stream. <laughs> Lucky winner number one, coming in. <laughs> Need like some background gaming show music kind of thing. My money, I'm going to just forget about it and jump off. Well, the options are, I'm going to forget about it and jump off. I'm going to remember, miss the jump, or number three, I'm going to just get it, but who are we kidding with option three? Come on, even I don't believe that one. It's got to be top two options. Option one for 20 points, Mike. Whoever the fuck Mike is. <laughs> option one, yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm going to just forget. I'm going to just jump off like shit. I'm like, oh, I'll get it next time. 12 weeks later of I'll get it next time. I'm aware. Boom. <coughs> Go on, give me that canteen upgrade, baby. Charcoal canteen. Thank you. And poop a hide. What do we get? People letter, which I imagine I put on the tanning rack. And red ant head. I picked number three. Really? You think? Fire ant helmet and fire... Oh, fire ant shield, you say? Oh. And a fire ant shield consists of... It would be under weapons, right? Because that's where the shields are. Block strength and block corrosion. Block corrosion. Does that mean I do corrosion when I block, or does that mean I block corrosion? I need one more fire ant head and two more fire ant parts. I might actually just have those. And I need four poopa letter. I'm going to be throwing some in the tanning rack now in a second. Hmm, new shield who this? Very nice. Click. Uh, I have a couple teeth real quick. Uh, I would like to increase this. Oh, yeah. Give me that healing increase. And that leaves me a two left over. Um, let's increase. Do I save two and get an extra mutation? Or do I get an extra 15 stamina? Let's have a look at some of the mutations we have right now before we cast our decisions in there. So, we have Blade Master. That shit's pretty nice. Combo attacks with swords have a chance to reduce stamina cost of future combos. That's good. Less stamina, more hits. Awesome. I need to level up. I'm, I've been using swords like crazy. Wait. That says a blade. But does it actually have to be a blade? With swords. Wait, does this... 
This isn't a sword. So this has been having zero benefit. <laughs> I knew that. But the weapon I'm about to be making is a sword, and I will get benefit from that. That makes sense why it hasn't leveled up since I've been using this weapon. Basically, I've been wasting mutation <laughs> since I've been using this thing. Good to know. And that's our maximum health. So for now, I'm going to take you off. I'm going to put maximum health on for now. Harvesting, pebble, and defense and damage. Oh, when I'm going up in the red antil, absolutely Processing. this bad boy is going on. Um, movement speed. Uh, cardio is actually quite shit, in case you didn't know. Fresh defense is nice. Um, that's all right. I Poison resist is pretty good. Right that's only now. during events. That's what we have on right now. But yeah, when I have a blade on, this is going to be helpful. But right now, I don't have a blade on. Because I have, like, a mashing tool on instead. We can put on maximum health just while we wait. You're going to take these stars, and you're going to like it. How did you know? How did you know that I was going to do those things? Crazy. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, JC. And I did indeed enjoy it. Thank you for that. Option four, I forgets all about the two, and then you remind him and he thinks we're lying. Oh, I like option four. Option four sounds good. Yeah, option four sounds real good. So I wonder if my health regeneration is scaled with how much health I actually have. Like, do I get a percentage of my health back? Or do I get a flat number? So I just put on the mutation that increases my maximum health. It's like 20% extra or something like that. So I wonder if I get back, like when I do a perfect block, do I get a percentage of my health or do I get 50 health, for example? Because if it's a percentage, then this is going to make me heal more. I'll have to do some testing on that. Eh, I'm stuck, step bro. All right, let's go store some stuff up. I think I need to make another chest too. I got some ant parts. Uh, wrong way around. Oh, they're just normal ant parts. Do I have any red ant parts? Yeah. Yep. Good. So, I imagine the pupa, I hang it up, right? Well, that's six of them, and I still have three left over. Cool. So you guys go in here until I'm ready to rock. We're going to be putting all those up because we need all those for our next set of upgrades. Um, we don't have enough. I need to upgrade you. I need one more of you until I can get that. I need the oven to upgrade this. The damage on this is definitely beginning to lack now for these bigger areas that we're up in. Um... We're maxed out on you for now, too. Same requirements we're maxed out on. Um, store some shit up. That maximum hauling strength is going to be nice. Throw you in there. Click. Um, uh, eater, but still. I also need to organize these chests. Right now, I'm just seeing wherever I can just store stuff up. Nice, we had a few things in there. And you go in there. Need to make another chest. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Uh, chest, 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 chest is here. I don't even have any items to make a chest. That's funny. I may. They might actually just be in my thingy. I should have these. Uh, construct. Why organize my chest when I can just make more of them? Right. Clover, acorn, sap. You got a $20 bill. We got JC coming in with some big boy stars as well. Jesus Christ. Message? No message? Just dropping some stars? Pulling top of the day. 3,260 stars. Well, alrighty then. Can we get some love in the stream chat for JC killing it on that top of the day? What should we appreciate it, bro? No message. Just drops the stars. And he's like, okay, cool. Well, thank you. 
Appreciate that, sir. Give him some potato love hearts in the stream chat. Okay, cool, and thanks. That's a, that's a couple stars right there, my sir. Appreciate that. I will use that on, her on, on food for the puppy. On pu fu puppy food. What else would I use it on? Sh shut up. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for the stars. No message, just the stars coming in, just fucking killing it. Thank you, dude. Much love. Yeah. Is this notification? Oh, cool. Nice. Um, a little bit thrown by that. Well, thank you, my dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need to... You can go in here for now as well. So we have you. What else do we need to make these up? The items I can just grab from the grand, right? Was it some of these? Clover, acorn, sap. Okay. Clover, acorn, sap. No sap or acorn in there, right? Nope. I can grab some if needed. There's some of you. Clover. Acorn pieces and sap. Nope. Oh, hey, give me these. Thank you. There's you. Yeah, no sap. Or acorn pieces. I have, like, the tops of the acorns, but none of the actual pieces. Yeah. Alright, we can put some stuff in there. Put some stuff in there. Put some stuff in there. Put you. Put you guys back in. So, sap and acorn pieces. That's all we need. We can go grab those really, really, really quickly. We're waiting for our stuff to, um... Waiting for our pupil letter to, uh, do its thing. Can't you make splinter hours? Yeah, I should be able to make them now. I've only got a few splinters. I can't make a ton, but we can make some. Better than zero. Bop. Bop. We're making up some chests right now just because I need more storage. We're stacking up on a lot of resources that we just need to hold on to. We can't get rid of it yet. We need them. And schmackaroo. But once that is ready, I will have my tier three smashing weapon. And I can get rust and pine cones and some other shit that we need, which would be fucking sweet. But yeah, if I can make splinter arrows, there's only a couple right now. But a couple's better than none. Gib, 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 gib. One. Two. Oh. One, two. I think I have enough sap. Where else does sap spawn in here? <laughs> is this game like Cool Borders? I have no idea what that game is, actually. Uh, this is basically like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids mixed with Minecraft, mixed with uh, The Forest would be a really solid comparison. It's obviously its own type of game in there, but it's a open world survival you know do your thing base building craft up stuff get tools repair them take out mobs boss fights there is some objectives but like it's pretty open to doing whatever the fuck you want to do in the game here's the message cool. lol keep up the great streams buddy oh. you're the only streamer i consistently love watching that's funny that there actually was a message it never showed a message on my side appreciate that jc <laughs> thank you thank you Need ladybug parts? Why? I need ladybug parts or you need ladybug parts? At least it's clean. I don't need any. I don't think so. What do you know that I don't know? What do you know that I don't know? Yeah, I appreciate that, JC. Appreciate kind words. And I'm glad that you're able to, like, you know, consistently enjoy the stream. If I had to watch my own stream, I'd probably fucking, you know, in VR. Hey, Ant. But well, like, hey, if you like to watch it, you do that. To repair your armor? My armor's not even 50%, baby. Travel along, Damn. My armor's like half. That's loads. Boop. 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 Give. Give me all the sap. Thank you. 
And... Eat. Thank you. Thank you. Just some solid food to have, just in case. Yeah, I need to make a sap collector. There's just some small things in the game I've completely not done, which is funny. Like some things you should be probably doing early in the game, and I'm just like, whoopsie. <laughs> there we go. Loads of new chests. We can start stacking all the extra things in here now. <laughs> uh, boom, boom. That, that was pretty much all I need to stack up in there. So... We can now make up some extra goodies. Oh, yeah, here's this. So what do you do? There's corrosion and his medium armor. So I need a fire ant part, fire ant part, lint rope. Do I have the full set now for the fire ant? No, I don't have the chest piece. We have the legs. We're just missing the chest. Dust mite fuzz. I'm pretty sure I've got loads of that. I've got gnat fuzz. Ah, okay. Need lint rope, and then we haven't unlocked the chest yet. I think I need to get them um, some of the pincer boys for that. Uh, honestly, I don't really care about the armor. It's really good armor, but I'm liking the builder doing more right now. So, is our pupil letter ready to rock? Once the pupil letter is ready to rock, I cannot yet. I can go ahead and get get what's it called i can get my tier three hammer and then with tier three hammer we can go ahead and get the pine cones i can then go get my lint that's to do with the axe i can go get rust which means we can then we can then get our tier three bow which does way more damage it's a crossbow it does way way more damage than any of other range stuff and that's not even upgraded i have tools ready to upgrade that material ready to upgrade that should i say and then once i've done that i can also make the tick i'm not even going to attempt to say that word the tick sword which has lifesteal on it and we built up our character with a lot of health regeneration so this will just absolutely uh, amplify it yeah i done that on purpose obviously um we basically have all the items in there ready to roll again uh we get them up in the same area and uh then once we get up to the black ant hill and we get the uh the oven whatever the fuck it's called like the furnace i think it's just an oven yeah i can then make up the spicy glob i've already got all these ready to roll but i think we can also craft up like a canteen now a new canteen charcoal canteen you can do damage with this so the charcoal canteen requires people letter we have charcoal we have and then lint rope okay so we just need that so this allows us to just drink dirty water it just filters it that is so nice. So we've skipped the tier two canteen. We went straight from the tier one to the tier three. And the reason for that is, is because I just went to the super high end version of the game. Uh, like the, the hard area because I can and I felt like it. All right. So now we just wait for these boys to be made up. We have our hammer in hand ready to go. We go up. We get some rust along our way. We'll get some splinters along our way. We'll get the pine cones on our way. Probably get some more people letter just in case. I'll probably pick up some more charcoal. Um, we can then get that fucking weapon. I cannot sit. I cannot wait to see how much help we're going to get back from that. It's going to be fucking awesome. And we're going to do that right on the next segment of the stream. Because that is going to be us done for this segment. If you want to see all those things we just mentioned, we'll be doing that on tomorrow's segment make sure you hit the follow button turn on your notifications check out the links down in the stream description and before you go we have a giveaway active right now it's open for everybody uh 50 cash money just because i want to think of an open giveaway and i was like do we give away a controller a mouse blah blah, blah. long story short cash is king so just sort people out with that so that giveaway is open for everybody just type in the chat exclamation mark giveaway there you go check it out easy stuff uh basically just follow my socials that's really all it is you don't have to do anything that crazy um so yeah we're doing that that is going to be we'll draw the winner at the end of the month and i might do a monthly open viewer giveaway because we do a monthly sub only giveaway that's this weekend by the way uh where i give away a brand new next gen gaming console because we have a ton of subs who are badass so i basically take the revenue that the subs make and i use that to purchase a next gen gaming console and then i give it away to one of our subs because we can it's cool because you guys support the stream and it's a bit of a two-way street so why not so that giveaway is this weekend 
But minus that, we have that open viewer giveaway, which is open for everyone. You do not need to be a sub, just check out the socials, basically. Again, type in the chat, exclamation mark giveaway. Uh, if that link's not clickable for you, because some people's devices are funky, you can just hop into our Discord or our Twitter. The link is there too. Um, but that is this segment of the stream done. Thank you for everyone who tuned in. Make sure you check out tomorrow's stream. We're going to be hopping straight back in from where we were. We're going to be going off and the people that are should be dried by the time we come back live tomorrow because game progression. Um, we're going to get that hammer. As I said, our tier three tool. So we're pretty much kitten ready to rock. We're going straight up and we're getting those additional items and uh, it's going to be pretty damn nice. But damn, we built our character up so fucking strong today. This has probably been the biggest jump in our character's progression in a single stream uh, until tomorrow maybe no I, I don't think we're gonna have as much of a jump today was insane the amount of stuff we've done it so many things came together it was really nice anyway i could rant and ramble for days as you know check out the socials links in the description get connected to the giveaway don't miss out on that bad boy someone's got to win it why not be you uh, as i said that's what's done thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys hopefully back here tomorrow for some more video games later stream bye <laughs> <laughs> on tomorrow's segment of the stream <laughs> every time